after that Frega tournament, was that what led the hooligans to possibly break up, or it was possibly? Good question. I mean, that definitely caused a big ruckus. Um, finding all that, like hearing all that out, and like, who, like again, who knows if it's true or not? But you know, like, if you're on a team and you guys won, and then you hear you're the players on the team, and you hear the other team that lost got more money than you guys. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the J-No Podcast. We are here back in life in J-No Studios, and today we have a wonderful guest but that goes by the name of Tommy Handles. What's going on? Um, literally, basketball sensation on the internet, basically. Get playing with a great team that we that we saw called the Hooligans. And I just want to say, how are you doing, brother? Yeah, man, I appreciate you guys, you know, reaching out and, you know, connecting and we're doing this. Um, it's been a crazy journey with the Hoolies. Mm -hmm. And um, doing great. Good. Been with them for like, you know, what is it, like seven months now, eight months? That's good. Um, also want to say appreciate you for the love that you're showing because we're local to where you stay at. So yeah. so that's just love for just to like, I feel like people look at this and be like, oh, he might be too big time. You know what I'm saying? And then be like, oh, he'll, you'll never be able to reach out to him. So I appreciate that for no. you. Because we, yeah. we've had people like literally we just asked somebody. We're going to be out in Atlanta or whatever. We asked somebody and they're not really like. Let's, you know, like all these other, let's compare it to like LeBron or like all these celebrities, like, you know, big time people. And this person has like over 10K or like b b lower than 20. And they're like, oh, how much are you willing to like pay me? And we're like, we've never paid a guest like yeah. ever, you know, like, I don't think it's worth it, you know, for the type of conversation we're going to have, you know, to pay you and bring It's a sit down, you know what I'm saying? It's not yeah. like we're going to try to like kill you in front of somebody or something yeah like, yeah. So like we're not gonna bash you or anything you know yeah so they said that and it kind of killed the whole vibe because you know we're just trying to you know try to get some content trying to yeah. make a good video yeah. and they were like yeah thank you but we never paid anybody but thank you for like you know just answering back giving us an answer anyways no. that's it but appreciate you coming out of course. Yeah, yeah, of course so before tommy handles because that's your that's your that's your that's your brand now tommy handles what is tommy actually doing before the whole basketball scene Oh, well, um, you know, well, I'm, you come from, you I'm from uh, Long Island, New York. Oh, yeah? Yep. And what well, was like, you were, you grew up over there? Or you, you Yeah, I was born and raised in Long Island, New York um, for two, about, I've been here four years now. Oh, damn, so you just, you just got here, basically. Yeah, I, well, I actually came in 2012. Uh, I was here for three years, and then I went back in 2015. Mm -hmm. um, and then I had my daughter. Oh, yeah. So I'm a father first. Yeah. Got two kids. Two kids? Yeah, my daughter's five and my son's one. Jesus. Congratulations. Sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats. You look really young to have, to have two kids. Yeah, I was yeah. Say, yeah. <laughs> yeah you look really yeah. young. I don't think no one knows that because, you know, you only see basketball content from you on the yeah. internet. So it's like, people don't, I feel like people don't realize, like, these people actually have lives behind, yeah. like, the, all, all that so glamorous. At the end of the day, yeah. Yeah. For sure. No, a lot of, that's the thing. They, they just see, like, the, uh, and that's the thing with social media. It's, like, it's pretty fake. You know what I mean? Like, it's sad to say, but it's like, it's like a hidden uh, gem. Like, you can only see what's going on in that video or in that picture. But behind doors, you know, everyone, everyone has problems. Everyone has their life. You know, everyone has c certain situations. Literally. Um, were you, when you grew up, you are growing up, were you like, like, let's say a division one athlete, like a division two? Like, what was basketball for you at the time? Yeah, so, like, um, believe it or not, I was a baseball player. Um, and football player, but before I touched the basketball. Really? Yeah. Oh, so you played baseball, let's say you were playing baseball and football your whole life then? Yeah, uh, I played baseball and football up until about 15 years old, um, 14 years old. That's about like eighth, grade. Eighth, grade. Eighth, grade. eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade, yeah. Um, and then I was playing football um, on a tr like a travel league, mm -hmm. and I broke my ankle. And then that's when I realized, like, all right, maybe this isn't for me. Like, because I, I was really short. My whole life, I actually didn't grow till six two until twelfth grade. Damn. So it was like I was, and I was really fast. So I was either the running back or the receiver, but I was so short that you can't, you can't get over. So then, when when I broke my ankle, I was just like, maybe this sport isn't for me. You know, it's like, and then my my father was like a big, like he liked to always like, oh yeah, play sport, play sport, play sport, and my mom was just like. The crazy Italian lady on the sidelines screaming and shit, <laughs> you know, like that's 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 how she was. So, I ended up look, like went in the street one day with my with my brother and his friends, and there were this guy uh, is actually he's probably like 37 now, 
believe it or not, a lot of people don't know, but we actually, actually signed to this this guy when I was 14 in eighth grade. Um, just by, I was very, I've always been like very athletic. athletic. I could pick up anything and pretty be pretty good at it. Yeah. Um, and the crazy thing was, um, I just went in the street one day and he was like, "Wow, you're pretty good." And he was a D1 athlete. Yeah, he was a D1 like. He broke a record in our school. He had 14 three-pointers in one one half. Jesus Christ. It's insane. Yeah, like, and he actually went, you guys know who Danny Green is? Yeah, sure. He went to the same school as Danny Green. And he was, like, the man in that school. College or, like, high school? High school. Wow. So that means Danny Green's from Long Island? Yeah. For real? I didn't even know. Shit, Shit I did not know that at all. The man and just then he, he transferred out and he went to, that was in North Babylon High School in Long Island, New York. And he transferred out and he ended up going to, I think it was like St. John's, the, the Baptist or whatever it was. But to make a long story short, um, this kid ended up taking the street ball route when N1 was big. He, ma he made his own team and he signed me under it. And I was like 14 years old. And I'll never forget, like we got sponsors and stuff. And we were supposed to go to, um, I think it was like, they were doing like the mixtape volume three and Professor. Everybody, all those guys and I'm like I'm telling my my mom and dad like this is gonna be crazy and my dad and my my mom's like you're not going nowhere really yeah so that never really happened Jeez. that got shut down but it was like a crazy experience because when they came to New York it was cool because like I, we met I met so many of them oh. and I was I was younger and then now I'm actually in the circuit of the streetball street environment ball, yeah. so it's pretty like wild like yeah I didn't do it then but I ended up doing it now that's not crazy. Yeah, life just circles around because, like, I, I guess at that age, when you're 14, like, you're heartbroken for your parents. So, uh, yeah, yeah, devastated. Yeah, so you're like, like, fuck, I can't. Like one of those, like, I freaking hate you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah. So then I ended up after that, like, it was like literally in like a month. This guy picked me up. He thought I was amazing, Damn. and I'm like, well, That's I must hard, be decent. That's hard, yeah. I was five nine. I was just, I was super fast. That's tall. At 14, that's tall. Maybe I was like 5'8", five, maybe 5'9". Five, I get, I mean, but I didn't grow until literally. I was like that all the way to like 11th grade summer. And then I started playing basketball, 8th grade. And then I actually ended up, um, they ended up moving me up um, to, I think it was like a um, freshman or 10th grade, JV10 or whatever the hell they call it. I skipped over the freshman. And I'll never forget, these guys were so mad I was on their team. Mm -hmm. And the, the coach started me, and I fucking froze it up. I played so bad. Yeah, I shot an air ball. I'll never forget. So then they pushed me back down. But then when I hit ninth grade, they pushed me back up to the 11th grade team. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, the varsity. Uh, the varsity. No, the JV10. Then I played. I had like 20-something points. Then they pushed me up to varsity. And like I did all right. And then like I was more like a six-man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, mentally, I'm like, I don't know if I want to play at this level yet. Like, because young people at our age is like, bro, I want minutes. I want to go score a bucket. You know, so that's yeah, the, that's yeah. just maturity at that point. That's why you'd be like, I don't want to be at a six man right now. I want to yeah, be a starter exactly. and, and kill. Yeah. So, um, like, it was a great opportunity, you know, going up and down and you know with the teams and stuff. But I mean, I wanted to play with my boys. Like, yeah. you know, like yeah, it was great. And yeah, I had great offers. Like, I had some good offers. Um, I never actually went, I went to a, I didn't take my SATs, so that fucked up all my scholarships, like everything. Really? Yeah, I had, I had, two, D, I had two D1 offers, nothing crazy, um, Riders University in New Jersey, mm -hmm. and I forgot the, the, se uh, the second one, what was it? It wasn't a full ride though, that second one. And then I had like shitty D2s and shitty D3s, yeah, yeah. but I was like, me in my head, I'm going D1. Yeah, you know, you're yeah, a kid, yeah, you're like, yeah, fuck yeah. the rest. Yeah. But, but uh, I never took my SATs, so that fucking, that fucked me up. You know, me just being stupid, and then I was just chasing girls, you know. <laughs> <laughs> were you, were you, so were you like a, a kid in school? Like, did you like school? School didn't bother me. Like I had a three, a three point eight GPA. Like, I, like school, it was whatever. Like I was a class clown. I always fucked around. I think school was the easiest thing ever. Damn. Uh, I cheated all the time, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but I mean, like, school to me. I mean, the New York State Regents is a fucking tough. You guys are from New York or no? I'm from Jersey. I was born. In Jersey. But I didn't go. To, I didn't go to high school. Didn't go to high okay, school. so they do these. You know how they do the F cats out here? But it's like fucking. It's so much harder because you have to take. I don't know how many times you have to take it here. Until you pass it, like do you take you take it from third grade all the way to fucking basically. Year? 
basically through senior. Uh, so nah, I think it was third through fifth. That was it. Oh no, F- that's when they switched F- it. Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's called FSA now. FSA. It's called F- FSA now. So that's from third grade all the way to senior. So you take it every year, basically. After third grade is when you start. You yeah. take it every single year. Yeah. yeah. So like in New York, you take a test. I think it's ninth grade, tenth uh, grade, and twelfth grade, or ninth grade and twelfth grade. But it's fucking extremely hard. It's so many questions. Mm-hmm. And it's like, literally, you have to know everything. Like, science, math. Like, you have to learn it all. And if you, I've heard of that, though, because I've heard that a lot of people be like, the SAT is easier. Up north for them, because they, they have that, that test. Yeah. So, so you took the, the bigger test, though. I took both of them. But you didn't take the SAT, though. You just oh, not, not the SAT. Sorry, no. But you don't have to take it that to graduate in New York? No. So, there's a PT... P, Whatever the fucking practice one. Yeah. So you could take a practice, which I took it, and I did all right. I think I got like a 1,200 or 1,300. Yeah. So I would have been good. I would have probably yeah, been nice. all right. Yeah. And then when it actually came, I ended up going to the beach. <laughs> 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 yeah, so like shit like that, like yeah. being stupid, um, definitely, you know. But again, like like you said, it's a circle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I, did I think I was going to NBA? And probably then, yeah, but. Be realistic. I'm I'm only six two. It's very hard to get to the NBA. It's very rare. Very, very but a lot of people in in my area they go to the NBA. Yeah. Yeah. Like you growing up with them? Tobias Harris. God damn. JJ Moore, the dude that was on my team, the hooligans, the bald yeah. head with the beard. Uh-huh. He's a G League player. He should be in the league. He's unfucking believable. Fuck you, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like these are the guys. That, yeah, I played against. We played against Danny Green too. When I like when I was in eighth grade, he was. I think they were twelfth graders, and their team and there were. Believe it or not, no disrespect to Danny Green, but they had way better players than Danny Green. Like fucking like that. This kid, I'm telling you, Kevin I, Floyd was his name. I mean, let's let's analyze Kevin Danny Green's um career. He's a role player at the end of the day. Like he wasn't the best yeah, always, but course. but he's been a sharp shooter and he's that guy that's gonna get you the last bucket. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, they definitely could have been way better than Danny Green, but I feel like that's like no. that's that that's been his whole life. But he worked he worked for it. He worked yeah. very hard because he wasn't the man in high school. You know? Oh, he wasn't. Yeah, no, that's, he wasn't yeah. like a big like. He was probably like maybe a fourth option. There was always more options. That's what I'm saying. Like, imagine a six a six three white kid that could do three sixty windmills and stuff like that. Yeah. That's the guy I'm talking about. He was unbelievable. They called him Earthquake. That was his name. Where's he at now? Um, he actually started like businesses and became a millionaire. Believe it or not. So, so the league was never an option for him. You, the league? Yeah, the league. He dropped out of school in twelfth grade. And he ended up doing that street ball thing. He went to, I think he went to China. He he grew. He got big, and they like N one signed them, signed that his team under them, mm-hmm. and then N one like a few years later, just you know, whatever, yeah, took yeah. a tank. Yeah. Did you ever talk, talk to your mom about that N one like signing and not going going yeah. over there? Oh, trying. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she I hope she don't see this. <laughs> no, no, I never I never really um, it wasn't. I mean, I understand. Like, I have kids now. If my do- if my son came up to me, he's like, I'm going there. I'm like, no, you're not. You're not going there. But obviously, I would think about it because it did affect me then. Yeah. So I'll be like, all right, maybe I'll go with you and give it yeah. a shot. You would understand the situation. I would get to it at least, you know. Sure. So you basically don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you're not able to go to college because you don't take the SAT. Yeah. What I did go to college, though. You did go to college. What did you go for? I went to uh, liberal art. Liberal art. Yeah, bombed. It was so bad. <laughs> Couldn't pass the fucking class. So, so it was you, totally different. you didn't graduate college though. No, I did a year. I passed. I I passed everything except for math. I couldn't pass math though. For real, it was tough, man. So what are we doing throughout that senior year after we graduate? Through like so now, because I don't know how old you are right now. But so I'm thirty. You're thirty. So. Wow. So we're, that's we're, not what I was thinking. And, honestly, bro. That's and we're saying hooligans blew up. Let's say a year ago. So when you're 29, what are we doing for nine years? You know what I'm saying? Like that. Nine years. So uh, when I was, so when I, I did go to Dominican Republic, played there for a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, I ended up going there, playing there for a little bit. So, you, so you're basically a pro player. Hey, uh, you. Uh, I mean, I, I don't. I, I yes and no. I mean, I came across really, really good players. I mean, there's different divisions. Yeah. I was in the second highest division, but the top division is where JJ Moore played. Yeah. Like there's fucking sweat. Like those guys are unbelievable. You look at them, you're like, yeah, yeah. like, like you, like you're getting, you're getting paid like twenty five, fifteen, twenty five k for two, three weeks, and you're coming home, and they just invite you for tournaments. Literally. So yeah. Was that right when you graduated high school? 
Uh, that was 2000, about like in 2010, 10 to 11. So what happened like right after high school? Like, what was your plan? What was your next steps? Um, I tried to go to college because I thought I could still go because I spoke to coaches and I wanted to go to the that New Jersey school. Mm -hmm. You know that you know that school or no? You said you said what? Riders. Riders. I've heard of University. It. Yeah, I've heard of it. They were in Jersey somewhere, um, and that's really where I was like, you know what? They're D one. I'll go give it a shot. So I'm like, let me go to school. He's like, go to school for a year, get as many credits as you can, and then try and transfer in. Mm -hmm. That year. I didn't have enough credits. Even though I failed the math, I still passed everything else, but I still didn't have enough credits, and I'm just like, yeah, I fucking hate school. Fucking it's not for me. So then I got into, I see my brother, actually, my older brother, doing, um, I don't know if you guys know what SEO is, search engine optimization for Google. So it's like, if you have a business, like your brand, let's say, and you guys wanted to like get it in the first spot for people sh searching like mesh oh, the shorts. search engine you said, the yeah. search engine, okay, yeah. So okay. I seen him getting checks like from companies. I'm like, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> and it was big checks, it wasn't yeah, like hey, little hey, checks. Bro, you're working for Google at the end of the day. Yes and no, like you're a third party. Oh, okay. You could get a partnership with them. So that's, I seen him doing that and that's what I got involved in. Like I started a business when I was like 20, I guess like 22, 23. Failed like for like three or four years. Um, by the age of like 25, I want to say, maybe 26. I it just, it just started doing good, man. Just a blessing. That's, the, that's another thing that I want to get into because before we, go, before we started recording, you were like, yo, I own two businesses. And I know, I know nobody knows that on the internet, that, you, nobody. that nobody knows I that. Mean, I, every time I go live, like people ask me and I'll say it, but it's like there's only a few people in there sometimes. And then the nights that there was like a lot of people in there, and I don't bring that shit up. Yeah, I feel you. So what are, what are the businesses that you're doing? So yeah. yeah, I have a digital marketing agency, and then I'm involved in like uh, kids entertainment, like bounce houses, water slides, tents, all that shit. So I've been seeing that shit on TikTok. Let's talk about that. I find that I find that really interesting because it's basically is it basically like a vending machine business? You, can can you say like that a vending machine? Because uh, you, you buy things, you buy that that that. The item unit or that unit and then you just place it and it places and then you make money off of it no the way we do it so again you know i'm a marketer mm -hmm. and I, I i could literally make any business pop up on the first page of google and generate business i could see how many people are searching keywords in different locations so what, what we'll do is we'll pretty what like what i did was um i partnered up with someone that i was doing marketing for and i'm like hey you know let me pretty much buy into your business and um, literally just took over the whole Central Florida. Really? Yeah, we're all over. Kissimmee, Point Santa. Are you ever like actually hands-on with those type Never. of businesses? No, Absolutely not. Digital, yeah, digital, yeah. Digital. But did you learn digital because of the this job that you said your brother had? Yeah. That's why, yeah. Because you didn't go to school for that, of well, course. Well, the thing is, a lot of people try and go to school for that, but you can't go to school because the algorithm, it's like, it's like trying to learn how to freaking literally get followers on instagram it's like no one really knows how i mean you got to do hashtags and all this bullshit yeah, viral video or something viral video and even still like i've been viral a few times and like i'm not super huge you know what i mean yeah, 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 so it's like um it's more of a it's an algorithm you, you you can't learn you can know so much but they switch it every five six months they're switching it up because the, google again google they want you to pay them Again, we're, th we're third party companies. We want you to pay us because we know so much and we guarantee you our services, but we could, I mean, companies like, uh, like mine can only literally guarantee oh, so much. Yeah, you can only provide. Google so knows like, okay, and they, they, what they do is like, they put their ads on top of the organic, which is what we do. Mm -hmm. But 86% of people when they go to like, let's say they search pizzeria near me, right? Let's say there's ads on top for new pizzerias in the area. Yeah. Believe it or not, people go to the organic. So there's ads up top, then there's you know the, the Google My Businesses where it will say like website and phone number, mm -hmm. which is like a map. Yeah. And then under that is the organic. 86% of people scroll past everything and go to organic. That is so true. I never fucking choose those. If you think about it, I never choose. I always scroll down to just see like the... And now, and now like it depends on the industry because a lot of people are clicking phone numbers and are clicking on it. So it, it is changing a little bit, but that's still organic. Yeah. So Google hates that shit. So they're doing whatever they can to like push the companies like mine down because yeah. they want they want us out. Yeah. 
but they can't. I mean, they can't get us out because at the end of the day, you want our you want us to have our website on your on Google, right? Yeah, basically. So they they've been trying to do it for years. So what they do is they 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 put these tricks in the in the back end of the algorithm and they update it every three, four, five months. So how do you how do you figure out those tricks though? Once it, the algorithm switches, uh, I'm in so many different groups of. I've been doing this for a while now, yeah. so I'm in so many different groups. And like, we all literally like are hand in hand, like we'll test, I'll test stuff. It's all testing, honestly. Yeah. It's like, you know, like if you take a dollar and you go throw it in Google ads or you take a dollar and go throw it in Facebook ads, I mean, yeah. which one's gonna be a better lead? It's probably gonna be the Google ads, but you're gonna spend a whole dollar compared to if you go to Facebook, you might spend 40 cents yeah. and get a lead, but it might not be as good. So you'll get more leads, but you get shittier. So it's all a trial and error. Yeah, but I mean, Again, they're not, what we do is we're not doing ads. We do organic. Yeah. So, like, people pay Google to get the ads up and pay, you know, Google makes like a billion dollars a week or whatever the heck it is. It's insane. Yeah. And fucking greedy. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like a billion dollars a week is not even normal. It's out of this world. But at the end of the day, it's like you want us to pay you. But you're not, gar like, you're not gar guaranteeing us quality leads. Because let's say we all own excuse me, we all own like landscaping companies. Yeah. There's, only, there, there's only three spots on the top. Yeah. So if you're spending $50 a lead and he's spending $20 a lead and I want to spend $80 a lead, who do you think they're gonna give them? They want that $80. $80 yeah. They're gonna say, fuck him, fuck you. Yeah, it's gonna go in a certain, but at the end of the day, if I can do it organically for you and, and we have a proven system to make it work and we only, we only focus, in, we're only in two industries. Mm -hmm. We don't go like crazy. Um, because I used to be like that, and that's how you fail. <laughs> so you niche it down, and you really focus on that. But major money in it, like there's a lot of like you guys know who Gary Vaynerchuk is. Yeah, sure. He does that shit himself too. Yeah. So there's a lot of big names in it, and and it's a lot of money behind it, but it's a lot of work. Like, and pe again, people on the internet don't know that shit. So. Yeah. Trying to figure it out always because it's so fucking hard to figure something uh, out like that's that. type of yeah. shit it's really hard to like know because you have to really dedicate your time to it oh, and there's tricks there's a lot of tricks to it yeah. like now i have it like it's like a science like i could do it for any industry but i choose not to because again it's more money you have to put money into it as well so like let's say like so you put you put money into facebook ads you can put money into google ads you can put money into instagram ads tiktok yeah. ads what's like the best one right now right now this is a secret I'm only telling you guys, it's TikTok right now. It's the cheapest and most popular. You'll blow up off of that right now. Putting money in TikTok ads. Yeah, like let's say you guys want to blow up your podcast. Yeah. Go to TikTok. You'll probably spend like peanuts, bro. You probably <laughs> literally throw a hundred bucks at it, you guys will get crazy followers. Jesus Christ. Seriously, it's we so really cheap. Really thought the opposite. It's so cheap. You thought Instagram was it's one of the... Instagram is good. And let me tell you why Instagram is good. Because Instagram, you're going to get the... the You'll probably get the following off of it, yeah, right? Sure, yeah. But at the same time, TikTok, you're gonna get the following, but you're gonna get you're gonna get all like people will continue to start like following and yeah. following, and they'll when they come from TikTok, they go to everything. You know what I'm saying? Like TikTok is like becoming like you remember how Vine was? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Everyone's doing like everyone's trying to be a TikTok right now. Yeah. So like yeah, Instagram is good for influencers, but if you want to blow up fast, TikTok is the is the way. Especially with the ads. You see though, but you said fast. That was a key word that I took into that. It's growing that fast really worth it? Is it really worth? Is it really worth that fast clout compared to? I think it depends how you take it. At the end of the day, because a lot I of mean, people. Yeah. Let's I say mean, it's a business that you're trying to make money in. How would you do it? Like, you, I want to know your opinion. How would you do it? I would do it. Yeah. How? Would, because, bro, you honestly, you're you're, uh, you're a serious biz, yeah. businessman that no one knows about this, and it's really interesting. Yeah. Um, I would do Google ads. And the reason why is because. I mean, number one, again, you need the money. So if you have the funding, Google Ads is gonna, you're gonna get legit lead, quality leads. If you wanna just blow up and, and blow up your brand, you wanna do TikTok. Instagram, TikTok, those two. How much are you putting into Google? Because Google has to be the one that you have to pocket. Uh, it all depends on your industry. I mean, you could put as much as you want though. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah. So like, let's say I'm a roofer. Roofing lead, you know, let's say a roofer probably makes anywhere from eight to 10 grand a roof. Let's just say in Central Florida, mm -hmm. guessing. You think Google's gonna let you pay twenty dollars an ad, like click? No, they want a hundred, <laughs> hundred fifty, two. They know that this is a good lead, and they, the science behind it is on us, like the ads guys that are doing it, is to really find the right lead. Like you can do target audience, so you could target 
how much he's making, areas, you know, genders. You could yeah. literally, I could target somebody who's like, literally buying stuff all day on the internet. I could see all that stuff. It's insane, dude. It's a, it's a freaking, it's insane what Google has behind Holy the scenes. Shit, that's fucking it's insane. I'm fucking interested right now. Yeah. The whole, yeah. whole backstory, that's too Are much. Are you? Into NFTs, crypto? Cause no. So I was in crypto for a while. Uh, I took a loss, so I said, fuck it. Uh, I got out of that shit. Um, can, would you say what it was? Like, like, well, you know what did you invest in? So I was in she Shiba. Lost. I was in Shiba. So I invested yeah. into Shiba. So that's like pretty recent, though. Yeah, it was like not so long ago. It was right after the, the big Dodge. So I made, I made so much money on Dodge. Like, <laughs> I put like three, four grand in when it was like shit, micro pennies. And then when it went up to like whatever, I think it was like seven micro pennies, seven. I don't forgot what it was. I got it like a zero zero point three, yeah. like stupid. And I made a few thousand off of that. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'll, she was about to be the next thing. Yeah. I'm listening to all these fucking TikTokers, and I'm like, yo, penny stocks were like the biggest thing ever. Me up, man. Yeah. Fuck you, TikTokers. <laughs> I'm listening to all these TikTokers because they look like they knew what they were doing. Yeah. And you and the, the, my, my, I cut you, you see the comments too, and they're like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna blow up, gonna blow up, and it just gives you believe the hype, and then exactly. shit just so I, I mean, I, I took some, I took pretty much all my profit almost, and put it to Shiba. I sat on it, and then for a few months, and the next thing I know, it just, I was like, yeah, fuck this. So I didn't lose too much money. Mm -hmm. I mean, I lost all my profit I made off of. Yeah. So, but, so did you sell it? Did you sell off Shiba? Or did it completely drop? No, I sold it all. I didn't make anything, like literally nothing, a few hundred dollars. So why do why you sell? It's because a lot of people, so like. They kept telling me it's gonna go up. It's gonna go up. Yeah, it's yeah. Gonna, and then it finally went up, but it went, I, I went the way I bought it at. Yeah. It didn't go up too much from that. Uh, so so you just wanted at least all your money back? I didn't get any. No, I literally only got a few hundred dollars back. Oh shit, okay. Jeez. When it went up, I waited. Yeah. Because they kept saying wait. Oh, and then it dropped. Yeah, you got too greedy. Yeah, that's, that's what I did. One of the first penny stocks ever. This was when like uh, Game GameStop and all that shit was blowing up on yeah, Robinhood. So I got into a stock called Naked, and I put like three grand into it. Or no, no, my bad. I put a grand into it, and bro, it went up to like three dollars. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm up like three grand. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna hold it because everybody's saying it's blowing up. Bro, and I'm holding for like two months. I just eventually took my six hundred dollar profit, and I was like, yo, I'm just gonna take my money and not be greedy no more because that's how you're gonna have to make money. You know what? Right? It's like gambling. No, for sure, 100%. And I hate gambling. I hate losing. I hate losing in anything. No, of course, yeah. <laughs> so, like, like, I still look at it like I didn't lose because I made, I only took the profit that I made off of the, uh, the Dodge. Yeah. So, like, I really didn't lose. It was profit, but I still lost, you know what I mean? No, for sure. But I hate losing, so. So, yeah. Are you willing to say the number? Or if you don't have to go? I mean, it was like it was like fifty five hundred. It wasn't like stupid it's huge, crazy. but it still sucks. It still sucks. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Anything money. sucks. Yeah. Anything literally sucks. Yeah. Literally. Because you know, one day and one day I made like twelve hundred dollars off of Dodge. Yeah. Which was it was amazing. I'm like, oh, this is, I could do this every day. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And then and then I was like, you know what? Let me take it out. I took it out, and I just kept literally took it out. I took out all the money I put up until I, it was just all profit in there. And then it was just like literally not going too high. So I'm like, you know what? Let me get it. I was watching TikTokers. Watching TikTokers. Fuck those TikTokers, man. I'm still on Dogecoin. I just reinvest every time. Because yeah. I used to, I was back in the early days too. Uh, I bought it at like a penny. But I put like $420 in just to like, nice. fuck it, throw it. It went to two pennies. I made 150 I was like, you know what? Cash out. Because I didn't believe in this bullshit going up to 70 cents at one point in life. Yeah, it was crazy. And obviously it blew up. And I'm like, damn, like I missed my sh I missed my time. And then I started buying and selling in a day cryptocurrency. Because you could do it as yeah. limited times. Yeah. What did you use? What platform were you using? Just Robin Hood. Because I was on the Robin. most basic thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I started doing that, buying and selling, buying and selling. And I bought it at, when it was starting to get to the higher prices, I bought it at 63 cents. It hit 72 or something like that. And I see my profit, but I was like, I got greedy. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna hold it. Drop next day to like 30. And I'm like, okay. And then, you know, it's been a year now. It's still, and we're at like seven cents, eight cents. But I've been buying, um, I've been putting a lot more money into it just to average my price down. So once it hits, let's say, once it hits 16 cents again, I can take all my money out, what I really reinvested in, so I don't fuck myself over. Yeah. And I still believe in it. I just kill, I just keep adding so another 100, 100. <laughs> No, for sure, because once I, once I sell, that money, I for sure don't have it. So I still believe in the thought that 
if I don't sell it, it can go up one day, possibly take my money out. Because once you sell, you lose your money. That's how I believe in it. And then if I don't sell it, I still have that thought in the back of my head. Once I look at it again, boom, take my money out, boom, that's it. Yeah, because I don't want to, I have like probably five grand in it just sitting, yeah. just waiting. No, just, I, mean, that's I, mean, I mean, like, you could make a lot of money. My boy made 300000 off of it last year. Off of Dogecoin alone? Not Dogecoin, like cryptos. Cryptos. And, but he also lost a lot of that money. Yeah. Funny story. Like you said, it's a gambling. It's a gamble, though. Because yeah. I think of, you know, options trading? What like contra uh, contracts, options trading. Yeah, I heard of that. So when you buy like, it's like options, you buy like 100 shares, basically. To me, and it's like a limited time period that you have to sell it. That's, to me, gambling. Because I don't understand charts like that. I can see it, but... I don't know how the fuck the market's gonna go up and down. So one time I made, I think it was 3,600 in a day, in a day. And like you said, I'm like, shit, I can do this every day. Yeah. That happens and... That's where it gets you, you get caught up. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. So next day I'm at BJ's with my grandma. We're going shopping and I'm trying to do this, uh, the options trading. And I invest into Tesla as a put, which means if it goes down, I'm making the money. Cause that's like, I'm gambling on it going down to make the money. Starts going down because I put like fifteen hundred. That was no eighteen hundred as the bet. Because the more you put, the faster you can make the money back. So like a couple minutes in, I'm up three hundred, and like I should just pulled out, but I didn't know like at that time three hundred. Okay, I'm like all right, I'm gonna close my phone. I'm gonna check it later. Uh, two minutes later, I look up down a thousand. I'm like oh okay. I was like that's great, and I'm like all right, let's see, let's wait a second. It's still going down, still going down. I'm like fuck, and I'm getting nervous because like all that money I just made that profit. I'm like damn, I'm about to lose it all. Keeps going up, keeps like keeps going. Yeah, the Tesla's going up at that point, so I'm going down. I'm so losing, you're money. losing your money. I'm losing money. You bet it was on that. Yeah, so it's at 1,200, 1,300, and I'm trying to sell. And I'm like, yo, no one's buying this shit. Like, it's not, it's not going through. So I'm like, fuck. I got to 1,500. It finally sold. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Don't even want to talk about it. My grandma's over here trying to tell me to grab these things. I'm like, yo, don't even want to talk right now. Just lost 1,500 in the day. Like within like let's say 10 minutes, I lost it. Boom, like that yeah. stock market took my money. Shit's and crazy, I, bro. And I took a big break. I was like, fuck that. Don't want to learn, you know, threw all that money in. I was still up on profit, obviously, but yeah. I just passed, you know. No, it's, it's, a cra it's crazy. Like that kid I'm telling you that made like 300 grand, yeah. he's like 22 years old, but he figured it out. He figured something out, you know? Yeah. And then he lost a lot of money because he was taking other gambles at the same time. But now he's still crushing it. He does like $2,000 a week. That's great. That's like, great. That's more than enough. 22 years old? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Best other things. He quit his job. He had a career. Like, literally, a career. He had a great job. So, for you to do that, I mean, you're doing something right. So, oh, for sure. I've seen on TikTok a lot. You said the bounce house businesses. I've seen a lot of TikToks blow up, like a lot of other businesses. Like, oh, like, this is my little business. This yeah. is my small business. Why don't you? Have you done that before like, on TikTok? No, nah, we blew up. Before TikTok, honestly. Um, like, the, I would say like maybe two years ago, um, my partner does, he does TikToks with his family. He's a big family. Yeah. Um, it's like, he has seven kids. Jesus. So they're always, and there's, I think we have 78 units. So it's like, they're always like, you know, having it in his backyard, blowing up, doing families. They do like a family vlog type of TikTok thing. Yeah. And I mean, they get views here and there, but again, it's not like the business, like, hey, this is my, you know, he's not on it like that. But we don't need to, honestly. So, yeah, I was about to say, so you don't believe you need it for that business? If I was a new business, I would do that. You would do 100%. It, yeah. But you've already been in business for so long. I already know the tricks to, to, you know, like, I learned it before, like, all this social media, I guess you could say. I mean, Instagram was around and Facebook, but not TikTok. So it's like, TikTok is a great platform to really grow your business. Like, if you run ads, if you only have, if, let's put it like this. You have a small budget, you use TikTok. Let's put it like that. That's, 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 that's really good advice, though. Yeah. That's really good that, advice. You'll pay peanuts, and you'll be able to target who you want to target, and you'll grow at the same time. Yeah. That's really Pretty cool. much. Um, I guess it's time to get into the things that the whole world's been waiting for, to be oh, real. So oh, sorry. The okay. first move, why did you come to Florida the first time? Uh, yeah. um, I forgot to ask that, my bad. First time? You said you came in like 2012 for I like three years. My mother actually, she moved, she lived, she moved here. First before we moved. And then um, my girlfriend at the time was like, I like it here. I think we should stay. And then I ended up staying. So is that why you came back down too or no? After I had my daughter, um, my girlfriend, no, my wife. 
um, was like, I want to go back to Florida. It's so nice there. And I was just like, all right, whatever. You know, New York's expensive, man. Yeah. We're paying like, we had a studio apartment, literally. Like, like this, grand. like two grand. And then you paid for a house here, two grand. Yeah, no, I did a, so I did a blind move. Um, that's how I ended up out there. Um, I'm not going to say it on camera, but that's yeah. what we're sp speaking about. Yeah. Um, my wife found this brand new um, apartment complex they just built like two years before we moved. Beautiful, like marble counters, everything. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, she was like, oh, I want this. It was like three bedroom for like $800. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, let's go. <laughs> Same week we moved. Of course. I was like, Let me, uh, yeah, I mean, New York is, is, is a beautiful place, but it's, you need to make a lot of money. Like, a lot of money. To be comfortable. A lot. Like, they were saying, like, I remember, like, shit, five, six years ago when I, I was listening to the radio, like, an individual to survive, like, with an apartment needs to make, like, 110000 Like, comfortable. Like, live comfortable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. You can move to Florida and make 60, 80K and, and be, live like a fucking king. Yeah, even Texas, too, at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Texas as well, yeah. That's crazy. Holy yeah. shit. Were you still in Long Island? Long Island, yeah. Were you were still there, out there, though? Or did you move out? Of, like, you, you've always been no, in Long Island. In Long Island, yeah. yeah. So I had a lot of cousins in Brooklyn, in Coney Island, and, and family in Coney Island, that I would go there a lot, but no, I would never want to live in the city. I hated the city. Yeah. I mean, I, it was cool to go in and, like, you know, Speed go up. there and shop and yeah. the fucking dirty hot dogs out there. <laughs> <laughs> Get the pizza. The pizza's yeah. always good. Chinese food, but... And then get the fuck out of there. It was cool. Times Square is cool as fuck. Like, but not for me. Do you miss it? I miss it every day. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I love Florida. Like I love Florida, but I'm like, I like. I'm just like going outside and seeing people. That's the thing, though. You yeah, you love that fucking interaction. It's just like like Long Island is more. Space. Long Island is, is is very fast paced, and it's more of like. Suburb, I guess you could say. Is it like Jersey, I feel like? It's more like Jersey, but like there's villages all over Long Island. If people don't know, like, like my brother lives in a village, like, it's just like the city. You, he lives in apartments mm -hmm. up top and you walk, like his thing walk out and there's thousands of people just walking by. It's a village. It is like, I, I don't know if you know Hoboken. Hoboken in Jersey? No. It has to be like Hoboken, you know how yeah. that shit so is There's like, so yeah. many villages like that, like all over and I live like so close to that so like you know they have the bodegas and all that stuff in the area so like that stuff i miss like honestly like waking if i woke up at two o'clock in the morning i'm fucking starving i'm like yo i'm going to bodega or something yeah exactly. And here i'm like ah, i gotta go to fucking mcdonald's i don't want mcdonald's i hate fast food so yeah yeah last time i ate mcdonald's fucking pd behind the camera over there fucking <laughs> stomach virus over here fucking <laughs> Stomach virus? Stomach. Fucking McDonald's disgusting. McDonald's, you're fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh I never heard that from a yeah, stomach virus. I don't know. Did I have a stomach virus or what? It's something. Yo, that's crazy. Back. Back. up, middle of the night. For like three, Just him or both of you? For like three, I'll eat that shit. You grew up here in Florida? No, yeah, I grew up here. I grew up here. I grew up here in PR. Uh, exactly. He's used to it though. That's what us all we eat out here. Like that. I grew up in New York. We fucking eat the nasty I'm shit out there too. Like we got nasty shit. You never know what you're eating. It tastes good, but like. <laughs> Yo. But like, nah, that McDonald's was nasty. That's fucking hilarious. Don't go to that McDonald's in that area I told you about. Don't go there. <laughs> no taking, man. No, because I'm not. No, I don't want no damn stomach virus. <laughs> nah, it was. It was. I, I like. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, I was gonna just get into the the, 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 the it, shit, the shit that the whole world wants to really know. Let's get into it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people still don't know, so let's get into it. Yeah. I want to start with your relationship relationship with Chris because he's clearly he was a create he's a creative Julians basically. Yeah, yeah. So, what's your relationship with Chris White? White or white? is it White? White. 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 Okay, just want to make sure. Chris White. Yeah. So, um, man, that guy like we we knew each other. So we met in uh, Long Island, New York. He was a friend of a friend. So our boy, uh, his name is Iggy. Um, <clears throat> um like. He did music, Chris. He's actually, he's always done music. Okay. Um, and I always did the marketing. So like he was looking for marketing. 
And our fr my friend was like, oh, he does the marketing, he does music. And I was like, cool, whatever, let's get, you know. Good link up. We, we linked up, and ever, ever since that day, we, like, kicked it. Literally, for months. And he lived, um, he didn't live in, uh, he lived in, I think it was in Brooklyn at the time. I forgot where it was, but he was literally, like, close, but not close. You know what I mean? Like, he was in the area. So then we uh, were chilling here and there. And then we would always talk, though, like, tap in on the phone and, like, Talk about like what we could do, blah blah blah, and then, um, shit. We, I knew him for like eight years now. Jesus. So that relationship with you, like, I I don't we don't know the relationship with all those guys. They, they all your all your teammates that were on the yeah, hooligans. So like, I, I I actually know him personally yeah, before exactly. the basketball. Do you think you were the closest one to him on that team, the hooligans? <clears throat> I mean, I mean, he knew Debo before me. Okay. But him and Debo like, what you know, like yeah. you grow up. Yeah. And then, like, they, they didn't see each other for years. So, closest, like, a brother relationship, I would say I would, definitely, yeah. Okay. So, you see that he's, he was with Nick Briz before the whole thing. You're, you're seeing him with Nick Briz. And yeah. What was it? Did, he, did they ever name that team? So, Savage Squad. Savage Squad. Well, that's they're still doing it right Yeah, now. they're still they're doing Mexico. it. They're Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you're seeing him doing that and stuff. Did you ever feel like, damn, I should get into the basketball scene? With so, the funny thing is, like, a lot of people don't know, but I actually got Chris involved in that. Really? Yeah, so I brought, so I was doing YouTube before Chris was doing YouTube. Gee, okay. You see, this, this is something nobody yeah, knows. Yeah. Yeah. What were you doing on YouTube? If you basketball. Don't know? Oh, basketball. I, I, so, like, I stopped playing basketball for a little while. I actually did, I coached. Okay. I was coaching PD and his team. <laughs> for real? Yeah. He's a hooper, man. Yeah, I see. I feel like I've seen you somewhere. I just don't know where. Uh, he's a first. I feel like I feel like I've seen you too before. He's yeah. my camera guy, man. He's a hooper, though. He's a hooper, man. But yeah. fuck the year, man. <laughs> yeah. He's a good guy, though. Were you coaching AU? Like, um, AU, yeah. <laughs> AU, and then um, pretty much like I was just like, fuck, am I coaching for? Like I'm still young. Like let me, pl I want to play. And then like I just like one day I was like, all right, I seen um. You know Duke? Yeah. From Ball's Life? Yeah, yeah. So we were hoping like every day, like one summer, like we were, I was going to um, Davenport. Yeah. And then the one day I missed, Ball's Life was just building this shit. Wow. They went out there. And he told me, he's like, yo, I think this, this guy, these guys are coming out here. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, I can't make it today. They picked him up that day. Jeez. So I was like, you know, it was meant to be because like at the end of the day, you know, I ended up, you ended up being doing a, a, di a different round. Yeah, a different round. Again, so it's like, it sucked. I mean, to be honest, they already had two guards. They had Zach and Austin, yeah. which are, they're both pretty good. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, and Duke could fucking touch, the, touch the roof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, and then like our relationships split a little because, you know, it's, it's, it's like a business. You're a business, focusing, yeah. you know, on it all day. So it's like, um, then when I seen that happen, I was just like, damn, like I could do this shit too. Mm -hmm. So then I went out, I bought a camera, I bought a freaking mic, and I'm like, I got a camera guy, and I just went full throttle. And people in the area where I live were like, yo, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Because, if you wanna be honest, I feel like me and him, like me and you, like started seeing it because of Friga. Friga started the whole thing. That's for sure. That's where Friga started that shit years back. And the thing is like, everybody be hating too, so you wanna start something with the camera and this and that, and if you're not free good, if you're not these big time guys, you pull up to a court with the camera, everyone's like, yo, like, who's this guy? They start laughing at you, like, yeah, you're, like you're goofy. They don't, you don't like, take shit so serious, people yeah. Still, like, people used to be like, bro, you, like, what are you doing? Like, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now when they see me, they're like, oh, Tommy's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want, they like want, you know, they want to be around. So it's like, and I remember those same people and I just laugh, and now they're trying to do it. So it's like, listen, I w wish the best for you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna sit here and be the guy. Like, I I fail. Like you gotta fail before you get anywhere. You know what I mean? I failed so many times, so I know what it's like. And then um, so that's how I that's how I got into the YouTube. Um, and I grew fast. Like believe it or not, I had like my Instagram in four months. I had like nine thousand followers, which is is not bad. Um, I was just reaching just out. You're just starting out. Right? I was just reaching out to everyone. I reached out to Friga, mm -hmm. Nick. All these guys, and then Nick was the one who replied, like, where you live? You know, like, yeah. where, where you got good energy there? And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, don't worry, I'll bring good energy. <laughs> I brought Mr. Chris out. Yeah. 
And Chris's energy is just a fucking no level. Okay, you know, no. he is. He definitely has the energy. He's a, you know, he's. So you call him out. You call Chris because that's your boy to hoop with and your team to play yeah. against Nick at that time. And then, did you ever see that video where he almost like that's fought? A, yeah. That's a video of him like, yeah, like, like a lot of people don't know that's me, but I'm the one in the bandana. I used to wear a bandana all the time. Oh yeah. Why? Yeah. I wore a bandana since I was little because I had long hair like Kid Rock. So I love that. I just love that whole look. So you just cut it, like just had the main look for a long time? I had my whole head grow, grown out. And then I do it every year. I literally grow it out. And then right before summer, I'll cut it. Do a clean cut for the whole summer. And then when winter comes back, I just switch it up. But then I brought Chris out. Chris like almost beat up his friend. <laughs> you know, the guy. That, That's the guy that did this podcast, right? Yes, and yeah. He's the one that got freak on. He, he, he almost fought the guy who got freak on the podcast, on his podcast. He also got Carlos. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's his own That's podcast. Nick's friend. Yeah, yeah. That's Nick's friend. Okay. Yeah, he was on that guy's team for a while. Then oh, that's when he was like, I'm starting the Savage Squad. That that night after we went and played them. Um, and um, that's and then and then Chris ended up with him. And like, How I'm not mad. Like, he reached out to him though, or you? Or like, uh, he, Nick reached out to Chris right away, or like after he saw that energy? So, no, he, he actually like. He mentioned it to me, like, yo, I think I'm going to start a team, like, I'm, I'm going to talk to you about it. And then, like, it was more like, I don't know, I just didn't catch the vibe right away. I feel you. And, like, again, like, I'm a businessman. Like, if you, if you want it to work and you're making a lot of money on YouTube, you got to pay. Like, you got to offer me something. Yeah. Like, I got kids, I got a wife, I got a house, like, I got shit to pay. Because you, you're basically gonna be uh, like, just stick to my business and keep grinding. Yeah, because they, they basically asking you to give up your whole life and come play ball. Exactly, and which I wouldn't mind like stopping some shit and doing what I love. I love it, mm. but at the end of the day, it's like if if you're not gonna, you know, right. and he ne we didn't even get that far. Don't get me wrong; it was more like it was more just like talking. yeah, it was just a talk. Like yeah, I'll let you know, I'll let you know, we'll talk about it, and then. He reached out to Chris, and then he was like, yo, what other parks can we go to? And that brought him into Kissimmee, and that's actually how he found Carlos. Yeah. So, yeah. believe it or not, I found your best two fucking picks. Let's be honest. <laughs> yo, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's I found the best two picks. No one, no one said it. No and, one said it. yeah, no one says shit, you know, yeah. but I stay behind the scenes. And, Nick, I hope you fucking watch this. <laughs> you know, we don't really talk um, because of the whole Chris and Nick, and, yeah. like, I just didn't respect what he did. Um... And then that's really when Chris and him fell out. Yeah. Chris was like, fuck it, I'm doing the whole lease. And Chris reached out. He's like, yo, you ready? And I'm like, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah. Like, this is so you already knew though, but I know when Chris, I mean, I don't know the numbers at the end of the day, but like, how how were you gonna be like, his? Chris was just starting up his YouTube, so I know he, the- The bag was Yeah, the, ba the bag couldn't be there, it's impossible. It like, yeah, it it's not there. But the difference was, the fact that he came to me and like, like again, he's like a brother. Yeah, 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 I agree. It was like, hey, you know, you're gonna get a percentage, but it might take a while. It might take three, two, three months or a month. And then the first video just did 900k or whatever, 890 thousand, and we were like, wow, it's fucking crazy. So, I mean, that's that's in, that's, you know, the numbers did go, end up, you know, going down, mm -hmm. three, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, some, some two hundred thousand, but it's, I mean, it's consistent. You know, if you could pump ten of those videos out a month. Yeah. You can still make money. How did you feel about that first video blowing up? It was crazy. Like, were you guys excited? Pumped? You guys we were, somewhere? Yeah, we were in the fucking we were in the fucking Airbnb. Like, yo, this is nuts. Like yeah. all of us. Like, where was the first? Yeah, you guys were in New York, right? Yeah, that's where that's where you launched it. Yeah. Yeah. Like the first. I think it was like twenty four hours. We did like four hundred thousand. I forgot what it was. It was not. We were all like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah. And then in a week we did. It's like, still going up. Still going up. So on the back end of YouTube. You know how you can see the actual yeah. views? Yeah. It just, the fucking thing was like a clock. Like, <laughs> you know, like yeah. it was cool. Yeah. And like, you know, a lot of people talk, and, and this is the thing, a lot of people talk shit about Chris on the internet, like he's a bad guy, like, yeah. he's not a bad guy. Like he's, he's just his personality on that camera, because he's, he's, you're an intense game, you're a basketball player. Yeah. He's, he's a very intense person off camera too, though. Okay. He's very aggressive, like that's just Chris. <laughs> that's, he is, he's a very aggressive person, like, He's, um, he has a different energy, you know, like a lot of people, again, you're going to love him or you're going to hate him. Yeah, yeah. And like, I just, you know, I just learned to like love the dude, like I build a relationship with him. Yeah. Um, 
of course we argue like brothers like we fucking fall out all the time but you know at the end of the day we still talk and keep it keep it going i mean it is what it is bro yeah so um when that first video was out. I remember seeing. I was like, "Yo, this motherfucker picked up basically a whole NBA squad." Yeah, that's yo, what yo, because we no, because we were like, you looked at Nick Nick's team. No disrespect, but the the, the team that he had that that you guys had that first video was like no one's gonna compete. Friga that Friga never does has never had a team, so we we're like, yeah. all right, Friga could probably pull out good players off his out of his bag, but yeah. he's never been a team guy. Nick's team once Chris left, it was over. You know, like yeah. you have a solid big man like that brings the energy and. Um, no disrespect to Nick. I feel like Nick, how you said you brought Chris and Carlos. Uh, Carlos, the YouTube algorithm, YouTube thing. Carlos and Chris were the most entertaining players course, on yeah, that for the YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Chauncey, hell of a player. Like he's, he's a, a great, basketball player. he's a great yeah. basketball player. But content, like bro, Chris, entertaining. Like you see when he, you see the thumbnail, you know when they're fighting, all this and that. And okay, Carlos fine. just acting like Carlos, bro. Like and low key though, Chauncey is an entertainer though, because you can see that little side of him that like yeah, he, uh, he'll get yeah. down. The you know thing, what I'm saying? The thing is, with he's, that is like it comes after time. Like dude, like I mean, you're doing it for a living now. Yeah. You know, like you're on camera for a living. Like so, like. People would be like, bro, why don't you like speak and like talk? Like at first, like my first video, I fucking said peanut butter and jelly, and that was my nickname for. Yeah. That's my nickname now. Yeah. You know, like I mean, whatever it is, what it is. You know, it's, yeah. it worked, it stuck, and every time I did a freaking layup, you hear people on the sidelines, jelly, peanut yeah. butter and jelly. So it's just like, it's funny. I mean, it's cool, but I'm fucking whatever. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what I thought of that. So, so where does Tom, Tommy, ahead, Tommy Handles come from? So, my original name was Tommy Ball Handles. Okay. And uh, <laughs> the ball part was just a little weird, you know? Like, yeah. So then Chris actually mentioned it, like, bro, you gotta get rid of the ball part. And I was just like, nah, bro, it's cool. It's, it's, it's more catchy, like, yeah. you know? Like, it, it's gay, but it's more catchy, you know? <laughs> but you see how you're laughing about it? Yeah. It's more catchy, though. Yeah. So then Chris is like, yo, you just got to do Tommy Handles. And I'm like, bro, I want to do Tommy Ball Handles. And the way I say it, he just started laughing. He's like, bro, you can't say it like that. I'm like, what, the ball part? <laughs> but it, is, so, it stands out. Bro. It stands out more than Tommy Handles because it's like, bro, that sounds gay. Yeah. But, and, no, and, and listen, no offense to any gay people. I don't care less, but like, it just stands out more to me. Yeah, for sure. And you, it, it is basketball. So, then and my, my initials were TBH for Tommy, the Tommy... So then, I, so then he was like, bro, come on, just switch it. So then eventually I'm like, all right, I'll fucking switch it. And then I fucking switched it. And I still hate it. I hate, hate it? yeah, I'd rather have the ball part because people used to laugh and I'm like, oh, my name's Tommy Ballham. Like, and they used to say, bro, that's fucking hilarious. Like, because I know, like, again, I, I have a sense of humor that people don't see that side of it. Yeah. I, I could definitely see that though. On camera, you look like really serious. Like you don't like you're like on the videos. You look, don't really look like yeah, you're. Yeah, I don't really talk. Like, when I'm playing basketball, I want to win. So it's like yeah, yeah. I'm there to win. Like, yeah. and we didn't really like believe it or not. Like we never. So me, JJ, Greg, Chris, and Debo, the original squad, we've never lost together ever. Like the five of us on the court, mm -hmm. we've only lost when they did like a substitution. Yeah. Like Cam Wilder played for uh for me. Mm -hmm. Um, what are the, what are the times? Are those just happening for the content or is it because you're really not available those days or? No, I was there. Okay. Um, so the thing was we, we were playing another pro team. Mm -hmm. So we went to Wingate in New York. That place was, there was probably like 700 people there. It was crazy. It's the hood. Yeah. It's like a hood in, in Brooklyn. Best, best place to move is in New York profile. Yeah, I'm talking about the hood, like the trenches. Like what the fuck are you doing here, white boy? Like, really? Yeah, like hood. And I'm like. I'm like, oh no, I'm from here. I'm here. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm with whatever. Like, yeah. I'm good. And like, I wasn't good. <laughs> we were in the hood, yeah. but like, Debo is from there. Like, Debo knows everyone. Okay. Debo, Chris is from Brooklyn. He knew a lot of people, but Debo was like, you know, that's always the one on the sidelines just talking his shit. So we were supposed. To, what was supposed to happen was Cam was gonna play for Debo, okay. and I was gonna play. And this is our first ever loss as a team but I didn't play like even even with the with the substitution um Debo was so we play this professional team that he set us up against um they play it's weird so they play on 11 foot rims 11 foot and they're called they're called like dunk or something and they play all dunks at three pointers I remember seeing that video like if you score a dunk it's a three pointer yeah. right 
So it's fucking weird. So like it's twos, twos, ones, and three. Twos, ones, no, twos, threes, and threes. That's how it was. There's no fucking three. There's no one pointer. <laughs> so it was fucking weird to me. And like we lost off a dunk. We ended up losing off a dunk. Um, Cam Wilder, like they were fucking pressing him. They were pressing him. They had him against the fence. They were like holding him. Like they were playing like their physical. Like, yeah. You gotta come ready. Yeah. So then, so then the first game we were, they were supposed to just play an outside team, like random five pickup. Yeah. What they did was, so I let Debo. I'm like Debo, you play this game. I'll play against the pros. They switched it. And you. Yeah. So he was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm a, I wasn't even dressed. Like I was just chilling. Like I had his coat on. I was chilling. Yeah. It was like a little chilly at the time too. So I'm like, no, nah, just play. And then the next thing I know, this big ass, they were all like, I want to say like 6'4", 6'3". Yeah, and bro, I'm and sorry, bro. When you see the hooligans, the original hooligans, you guys could compete with an NBA, an NBA fucking squad. I was like, yo. I'm not NBA, but we were, we were definitely one of the top street ball teams. Like, extremely well. Yeah. Really you guys good. played, you guys had the chemistry. Awesome. We played really good together. I mean, we had shooters. We had a big, we had a JJ who could just fucking do whatever. He's a G League player. Yeah. Like we had, we had, we had a really good team, honestly. That's what I'm saying. And going back to when we first saw the video, like all of our boys watched it, and we're just like, and everyone said, it. "Where the fuck did everybody come from?" Like that's yeah. what we're trying to figure out. Like how do you so, form like, a team like that? Um, funny thing is, but all you guys are from different places, right? All four. So there's four of us from New York: me, Debo, JJ, me, Debo, and JJ, and Chris. It's, and Greg. Greg is from Texas. Texas. That's so you know, I didn't know Debo. Chris knew Debo. I knew JJ. I played with him. You know, you pause, no homo, no freaky, none of that shit. <laughs> yeah. Played against him my whole life. Yeah, that's what you were talking about. Yeah, you um, and he, like, we're boys. We still, we still play fucking Call of Duty together. Like, every other day. Like, that guy's a pro. He's a pro. Like, he's a different level pro. Like, he just, you, you put him in a fucking football game. He's, a, he's just a freak yeah. athlete. Like, no, yeah, he, no, he killed. Like, he plays flag football and he just, like, He's just a super freak. Look like at someone with that body type, you're scared right away. You're yeah, and like he could do anything. Like it's just like not it's like he's like a baby LeBron. Like I tell him all the time, like you're fucking baby LeBron, like why are you not in the league still? Yeah. And he just you know what? He had great opportunities. He had played in great schools. He went and played D one, Rutgers, mm -hmm. Purdue. He played in like really good colleges. And he, he got the looks. Um he played in Mexico and DR. Played all over. Like dude's an athlete and he played like top elite level. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, like he's had opportunities and I guess, I don't know, I don't really don't know that much, but it's definitely to, you know, he's outscored players on his team that he played in the, in the G league and they're pulling up people under him. So it's just like, you never know. Like, I mean, politics play a big role. Definitely. So, um, so like. What happens? Like, okay, uh, let me go back to the like, the biggest game I think you guys had the Friga the Friga against Huli games. Oh, that game. Yeah, that shit was probably a big ass. That was probably the biggest event you guys ever had, right? That was our first event uh, against another YouTube team. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, that was our first event against another YouTube team. That that event was nuts. There was probably like twelve. I want to say twelve hundred people in the gym. Mm -hmm. Shout out um, Devin Alab. That was his gym. Um, that dude. That dude's gym is is huge. Um, it's not the best gym, but it's, they're remodeling it. So. He has a gym though. He has, he has it's a gym. huge gym though. There's yeah. two courts, like, and it's like not like two courts like regular two courts. It's like a court here, and walk and it's surrounded. And then you walk to the other side of the building, and it's another court. Like it's oh, not like really? a. Yeah. So what the camera's catching is not even what it is. It's way more than the camera. Yeah, it's a lot more. So yeah. it's like, and the court is like a full court. It's not like a regular, like you go to LA Fitness and you can fucking just jog up the court and you're there. So it's, it's like, like, you know J-Law on Instagram? Yeah. It's like his facility basically? So I actually didn't get to go to his court, but I'm sure it is like that. They all went. I didn't get to go that time. That's why, yeah. That's all it's, yeah. it's probably like that. It's, it's definitely something. Like, it's huge. It's a very big court. Um, the rims are tilted a little, but that event, going back to what you're saying, that was our biggest, I guess, our event, event you could say, like live stream, definitely. Yeah. What's going through your head at that very moment? Like, that you know that's going to go down? Um, knowing that that's basically, and also there's a lot of money on the line. Yeah, so like my, so we all had roles. A lot of people don't know that, like our, our game plan going in, like mine was just playing defense. Yeah. 
And a lot of people are like, oh, you didn't score. Like, I didn't, I didn't score, honestly. I didn't even do shit in that game but play defense. Um, Who are you playing defense on? Nathan. I don't know which one. Nathan. Uh, he's like a little guard. Oh, that played at the school with Frigga? Yeah, that kid. Exactly. So Frigga like amped it up. And, and did you see the, the um, they did like a, um, a podcast the day before, the night before? When Chris almost got into the fight with the other team? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. With that other dude from, uh, from New York. New York. The one with the blonde. Yeah. yeah. We're not gonna announce his name, so. Okay, I don't even know his name. Either. <laughs> uh, yeah, so pretty much that night they put me, like they put me and 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 um, Nathan is his name up up there, um, and they were and like Frigo was like, oh yeah, he hyped it up, like oh yeah, this is what I want to see, like w but like psychologically, what he was trying to do was like definitely break me down to not do what I needed to do. Yeah, you said you got the game. He's like, I want to see what you could do against him. That's what he's doing. Like, like I want to see you could dribble and do whatever you do on yeah, against. Yeah. And I was just like thinking in the back of my head, like, bro, I'm just here to play defense. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, we had the, the, the guys who could do the scoring and stuff. Like, yeah. he was telling everyone, like, he's the best player in the gym. Yeah. He said he's better than Devin the Lab. I don't know if you guys know who that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, you're crazy. Kyrie. Like you're fucking stupid. <laughs> he said. He said that that night he was just trying to gas it up oh, and like I'm people say, and people fed like, into it. So like no when we won, I didn't score one point yeah. out of all the games. Yeah. Like I didn't. Like and I definitely should have. Like I played bad on offense. I only touched the ball a few times to be honest. Um, but like my whole game plan was like Chris was like, bro, you gotta play like defense, defense, defense. So like and you're fast. more uh, yeah and then like I'm fat and the the whole thing was like he was like 20 years old 21 years whatever he is he's still young like yeah. you know so like you keep up. <laughs> me mentally I'm like all right like I did what I had to do like yeah. but then when I went to the internet I see all these comments like damn Tommy didn't do nothing Tommy didn't do nothing Tommy didn't score but it's like oh fuck I guess so the next event was is, um Ball's life yeah Ball's and life. That's, and that's the beef that's going down with um Chris and I, I don't. You know his name. The, the, wait, Slim? No. No, the the guy, the the, Man, the, dunk, the owner. Yeah, the owner. Oh, you talking about Kenny? Kenny. No, Kenny Dobbs. It's the one with the long hair. The, the braids. The braids. Yeah, yeah. That's who. That's who Chris is going at the whole time, basically. So yeah, so he's not the owner. He's like the. Yeah. The face. The manager face. Yeah. So whatever they did, I mean, I'm not going to talk about that. It's more personal. Um, whatever that happened between them, we ended up like the team besides Chris ended up going and playing that's why they called the squad X they didn't want to use the hooligans name which is was very smart you know to do oh, really? um um what was I gonna say shit so that game like that game I actually like froze up like honestly like I didn't feel comfortable um again I didn't know all those those players on our team mm -hmm. those those what was it? One, two, three, four, four of the players. You know, they're not original holies. It was like you and Greg only, and who else was there? From the original squad? Yeah, just in general, from the people you, you, you're used to playing with. I just yeah, thought. Just I, me and Greg. Yeah, you and Greg, right? So I, I only played with those, those the Friga event. Uh -huh. I played with those guys. Yeah. And then that event. Uh, I don't see those guys. Like, I don't yeah, know, you them. Don't like, know them. You don't talk to them. Like, so do you remember who you played with? I'm trying to figure out who. Was. Yeah, it was me, Greg, D Bones, the guy who, that. That's just, he played last night yeah. for Ball's Life. They picked him up. Um, Kill Will. He's from Brooklyn, New York. There was someone nasty. Lightfoot. He's there, was someone, there was someone killing at the free good event. He was on your team. I, I don't know his name, though. He was, he was a tall, tall, lengthy, um, dark skin. He could shoot the rock. I don't know his name. Probably he Bones. He, he's probably pretty, pretty Bones, good. Yeah. Or, or if he's skinny. It's probably like six two, six three. It might have been um, Juice. Juice. That's Juice. A, that's the name. Juice. Yeah, he he he's Juice. he's fucking he's he's another one. Like he if he hits, he's like he catches fire, man. He's like yeah, yeah. it gets crazy with him. So like he's actually a really good hooper. Like I, I didn't mind like hooping with him. Like mm -hmm. just sometimes he gets you know you get tunnel vision, but everyone does that. So it's like yeah, can't you can't be mad. But that 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 whole event like. <laughs> <laughs> the boy cracking his neck. Uh, that whole event, like I went in and like I just didn't feel comfortable. From the moment Chris said he, you know, he didn't want to play or he couldn't, whatever, whatever went down, like he yeah. wasn't. Yeah. 
it was more like, oh, fuck. Like, you don't have your right hand man there. Yeah, and it's just like, I feed off his energy. A lot of people don't know that. Like, I f like that's like you when we play like, together, you know players, though, yeah. like he gets me going. Like people don't realize that. Like his energy would, would like get me going. Like, and like a lot of videos we're in, he'd be like, fucking Tommy, pass the ball, hurry up, Tommy. Like, yeah. but people love that stuff. Like it's entertaining. And yeah. like, that would make me like thinking about, like I'll be laughing on the court and I wouldn't <laughs> show it. But like, that would make me think, like, all right, I'm not going to play for real. And then I would like get in my zone, but like, we were just all over the place. There's no, like, nobody was in charge. Like, nobody. It was a regular game with, like, pickups. That's, that's it. Pickup. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And, like, Greg was uncomfortable. Yeah. I was uncomfortable. So, it's like, it is what it is, I mean. And then, like, then Iverson actually, you know what, Iverson? Yeah, yeah. He, he, like, so the refs are fucking terrible. They, they favor them. You know, they hire them. They definitely favor them. He stripped the ball for me, but he definitely fouled me. But he did strip it first, and then he, like, fouled my arm. Mm -hmm. And then he took it, and he blew a kiss at me and made the three. Did yeah. you guys see that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So then that, that game, like, they, there were seven of us or six of us. They subbed me out after that, and I was just, like, mentally, I was broken down. Like, all right, you didn't even give me, like, the chance to get like, my revenge. Yeah, yeah, of course. So I was like, cool. Then the second game, I just caught some fire. I scored, like, five or six. No, I, I hit a layup on him the second game. And I told him he was fucking baby. Like, I told him, like, you're a fucking baby. And then, like, that video did, that little clip did some numbers. Like, they shared it. Um, but, like, still mentally, like, I feel like if, if we had our full team, it would have been a different story. Yeah. What happened to JJ? You don't see JJ in a lot of videos after, like. So, JJ, so JJ, all right, so JJ is a G League player. Yeah, G League player. He left to go back to the G League. And I don't know if he wants me to tell you this, but I'm going to tell it because he's just like, that's like my boy. So yeah. he ended up tearing his ACL. Yeah. So he was playing the whole time in New York, every, like the whole time we were touring. Um, he tore his ACL. His, it was torn. It was literally bone on bone. There was no like, muscle. He was dunking, doing everything. Everything. He didn't know. He still didn't know when he went to the G League. The G League, he, he wore a brace. And he, he said, like, the, the reason why, he plays flag football. Yeah. And he said, like, a week before he went to the G League, he was playing, I guess, flag football or, yeah, yeah. or something. I forgot what he said he was doing. I don't know if it was flag football. But he felt it. He said he felt like a little pop. Mm -hmm. but, or he felt like a little nudge or something when he was walking. Or, I forgot what it was. And then he went to the G League. They literally do a workout, like a combine workout. He said he aced it. Like the, even the trainer told him, like, bro, you, like, you're good. You're going to make the team. You're straight. And then the, I don't know if it was a GM or one of the other guys, like, came down and were, like, talking to him. And, and they were like, oh, you have a brace. What's wrong with your knee? And he's like, oh, I just got a little, sometimes I get a little pain in it. So the trainer, the trainer was like, oh, no, he's good. Like, he literally, like, killed it. Like, he's good. He's So then he was like, all right, go get an x-ray just in case. He got the x-ray nothing came up. So then the guy was like, you know what? Just get an MRI, just to be, just to be sure. So yeah. JJ mentally was like, I'm good. I already got the x-ray. I'm fine. I'll be fine. Yeah, we're more, we're more so he did, the, he did the MRI. And then it came back with the torn ACL. And then it wasn't like a, a little torn. It was like gone. And like the trainer couldn't believe it. Like he was like, there's no way. He was like, he was like there's no way you Some just did all that. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. And then... Um, you know, thankfully, he's been like uh, like five months already, six months recovery. He's already jogging on it already. So he's almost done. He's almost back. Yeah, yeah. Like those 10 people were just built different. There's like no way five months <laughs> you just jogging yeah. like that. That's, that's, that's crazy. He's a, like I said, he's a freak athlete. Like yeah. it's going to like he didn't know he already had that. So it's like now they fixed it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's only going to be wor it's only going to be better for him. That's what I was yeah. telling him. Like you didn't even notice it. That's fucking scary and psychotic. Like how? Yeah, that's just because he's big too. Big dude. He's like six, what? Six, 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 seven. Whatever he is. Yeah, when he's pounding the ball, going up for the layup. It's a fucking monster. Yeah. Kind of. I played him my whole life. He's a fucking big dude. No homo. <laughs> Gotta say that, bro. You're gonna get a lot of New York people, up north people, are gonna be watching and be like, "Yo, whoa, pause, pause." <laughs> get that shit in the comments. Yeah. All right. Damn. All right. Let's let's break it down to the actual things that shit the shit that's going on currently right now with the, your announcement that you literally said what how long ago two days ago, and a lot of it was supposedly because 
Chris doesn't play pay his players. I don't know if that's true. That's just what you hear. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's crazy, right? So what is the why is all those words being said apart for behind his name basically? Yeah. So I mean, espe espe I, I, my thing is crazy though. How is he gonna do that, especially after he left Nick Briz? Off after that situation, we don't have to get into that, but it's yeah, no, yeah. I mean, and that's why I find it so funny. Like people say, he doesn't, you know, he don't pay his players. I mean, why would they stick around for months? Yeah, that's just my point. You know, it's not like it was like a month or two. It was month, it's seven, eight months. You know, it felt, it felt like a year watching. Hulu. It's been a while. It's been. I mean, it's been yeah. It's been like se seven months, six months, but whatever. I mean. What happened? It's about to be a year. A year? It's the, the New York tour starting in summer. August, August. August, August. I remember August. That's in, that's in three months right now. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's the easy year. It's starting yeah. to watch it. It took a while because we were like so like tapped in, tuned in. You know what it was? It's like everyone was so focused on Friga and Nick, Seam and like the East Coast and West Coast that when we hit the circuit, like we hit it and we ran with it. Like, yeah. and we did a fucking month tour. Like nobody was doing that. We did a month tour, like we were fucking putting a video out every other day. So it was like, yeah. damn, these guys are killing it. Yeah. Type shit. But um, back to what you're asking, like, so did he pay us? Of course, like everyone got paid. Everyone got paid. As far as I know, everyone got paid. Like, yeah. no one's ever told me, yo, I didn't get paid, none of that. Like, he's paid, you know, like, I got paid. I know Greg got paid. I know JJ got paid. Didn't really talk to Debo too much, but I'm sure he got paid. You know, like, everyone got paid. Like, that's not even a question about it. Like people just, you know, there's a lot of haters, bro. Yeah. You know, like um, people just don't like Chris's personality. Some people think he's faking for the internet. Some people think he's just like that. Like he's just a fucking nut job. You're a fucking nut job. But, I would just believe it after after he's how, great, after, after how long we've seen him on the internet. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, after how long we've seen him, him on the internet, it. internet is like, bro, like this. There's, there's like, always faking. He's been like that before this camera shit. That's why I try and tell everyone, it's like, yo, it's not for the camera, like. He's a fucking nut. He's a lunatic. Like he'll tell. The first video, he wasn't on camera. He wasn't. A, he wasn't in YouTube. Yeah. Everybody remember his. That's that's why I tell everyone. Remember the first video you guys seen him on against yeah. Nick? What was he trying to do? Shut the fucking cameras off. Yeah. Shut the camera. I'll beat you up right now. You know what? Fuck the cameras. I'll beat you up. So it's like, bro, he's been like that before the camera. So it's like, you know, he's been like that. Like. So I met him. He was just fucking little nut. He's a big nut job. I mean, not little. He's a big dude. So. But I mean, at the end of the day, he's a good person. You know, it's not like he's not a bad person. You know, he just he has a you know he came from a rough area. Yeah. So he grew up that you know grew up with that mentality. New York mentality and yeah. like fast pace. Like if he tells you to do something, like yo, can you do this? He wants it done now. Like that's the type of guy he is. Yeah. And I'm sort of the same way. Like yo, we can do this. We gotta do it now. Like. And also, like, if you say something stupid to him, he's ready to fight. Like he, yeah, he, I mean, yes and no. Like now, he's a, he's a, he's a grown man. At the end of the day, he's not he's not a fucking idiot. But <laughs> if you disrespect him, yeah, he want he'll want to get he'll want go that way. Like what the fuck did you say to me? Yeah, you've never seen it on camera, but has it actually happened though? That like you have had to like legit he been like have a fight. on camera? Yeah, uh, against AJ. He didn't. Fi I mean, he slapped him. Oh yeah, no. Uh, AJ, because the stealing the content thing or something like yeah, that. Yeah. He came or whatever, just brought the camera out, and you guys like asked him whatever. I mean, we asked him nicely like four times, and then like that's our takeover. Yeah. Oh, we didn't know you guys were coming. So why the fuck do you have your cameraman here? <laughs> Not one, but four. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're ready. They're you know, ready. so it's like, yeah. and like whether you know whether it, I mean it's just weird. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Weird. I seen the whole video because I was like, yo, no way he really like slapped somebody for the first time ever or like hit him, whatever. But yeah, he's, he slapped him. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it wasn't like a. F like, yeah, it wasn't crazy. Like, it wasn't like. He really could He really could have hurt him. I mean, Chris is a lot bigger than that dude. Yeah. But it was all respect at the end of the day. Like, you ask him politely. And then again, like, coming from. You know what he said? Did you guys hear what he said, though? No, I don't know. He was like. Phew. I'm not shutting my cameras off. I've been doing this for 15 years. That's what he said. That's exactly. So it's like, I mean, that's disrespectful. At the end of the day, it's like Chris went to you politely, like, "Yo, bro, come on, like, I don't care if you guys record, but like, yeah. you're, yeah. you're trying to take away my content. taking my content." You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and it was more like they came off. Of, they did. That's exactly what he said. I'm sitting there. I'm like, "Yo, this guy's a dick." Because he came with like Chris Staples and everybody, right? The whole fucking team. Yeah, ready. Like they're ready. A fucking giant. They brought like a six eleven dude. That's crazy. 
They beat us the first game though, actually. And then the second game, we killed them. But the first game, I mean, again, it was just me, Chris, and Greg. Like, we didn't have a full team. Yeah. And we picked up. Hezzy got to play with us that time, I think. It was Hezzy. Yeah, it was. That dude is a fucking beast. Hezzy got? He had like 14 points that game. 14 out of 16. This is crazy. Like, I, didn't even get, I touched the ball one time. I did a crazy jelly layup. And he was like, bro, you, you need the ball more. I'm like, bro, I'm, you're good. You got it. You got it, bro. Like, like his game surround, like, like, the way his Stop. game evolves, yeah, he needs the ball. I think that's, that's how his He's game like evolves. He, wants, he, needs, he needs to have the ball. Yes, that's what it is. But he knows, like, who can ball, he'll give you the ball. Not but seeing that, I'm like, like, damn, like, you guys, like, I don't know, bringing that New York, like, mentality, like, you guys definitely shook some shit up there, because it's LA, yeah. West Coast compared to East Coast, New York and LA, it's two different worlds, two different things, so seeing like, that, Venice Beach, like, that's like, the, you know, it's like a beautiful, sweet spot, you yeah. know what I mean? You see that? And we're in there, like, the, with, like, nitty-gritty <laughs> environment, like, but, like, they got, don't get it twisted, they got some fucking spots out there, like. Or should I say people out there that are, that are like that too, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Everywhere, that's everywhere. But they were there, it's just they weren't on the court, you know? Like, they, were, they weren't involved, so. Too. I feel like, though, like, everyone has to have, like, like the bad guys. Not, you guys. not saying you guys were the bad guys, but, like, you guys were, like, the guys, like, as a team on YouTube that, like, yeah, if you guys fuck with us, we're ready to go. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like that's, how, that's really how it was, like. And then, you know, shit just hit the fan, like. Yeah. After, you know, JJ got hurt. And Debo, whatever, I don't know. He got hurt. And then, like, it was just me, Chris, and Greg. And we were just, like, I guess you could say recruiting. We're more of just, like, just picking, up, basically. picking up and trying to see who fits with us. But it just wasn't the same environment. Like, it wasn't the same, like, vibe. Like, And then, like, you know, Greg left after the, the Riga, Ball's Life game. Ball's Life game. That's the like so like why why is he saying those things like what things like just saying like like he just saying like, so, like why didn't i get paid this amount this is that so like the thing is like i think what happened was like you know chris and him had like a i guess like a, you could say uh more of a misunderstanding i guess but greg didn't say he never got paid he said he didn't get paid a, 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 a certain amount i guess yeah which i mean at the end of the day like if I'm a business owner and I tell you I'm going to pay you this much and I don't pay you that much, if that's what really happened, then, you know, that's, that's, on, that's on Chris, you know, if that's, if, if that's the situation. But if Chris told everyone, like, hey, I, he told everyone, he, I know he told me, I know he told, like, you know, Jay, like, he told everyone, like, at the time, remember, our, our numbers were high, the first, that first fucking, the first five, six videos. Yeah. So everybody's expecting that shit. Everyone. Me, huh? And he paid us all. Yeah. And then and then going forward, like our numbers dropped, boom, boom, boom. And he was still new to YouTube, you know, yeah. all of us. So he's like, listen, we're gonna build you guys up, you know. So eventually, you guys are making money on YouTube, and you guys can make the money, and we'll still grow the hooligans. But he's like, and then he's like, when the numbers got low, he's like, hey, I, I'm gonna let you guys know. I was like, I can't pay for your hotels, I can't pay for your flights, and pay you guys at the same time. He's like, numbers aren't, you know, we're not do, we're not killing it. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, respectfully, he did. He did say that. So, um, I, I, I understand where, you know, he's coming from. At the end of the day, it's a business. The truth, you can't lie. It's so, it's money like, at the end of the day. When people too. are, like, when, you know, and then when, what really happened was when we played the Frigga game, supposedly. I heard that. That supposedly Bala's Life offered you guys more money if you guys lost. And I, I heard, I, I'm, I'm saying what I've, sorry, I've heard on the internet. I mean, yeah. it's not true. It's not true. It could be true. No, that's not, that's yeah. not true. But no, uh, let's, we'll get to that one after. Let's finish the Friga one. So Friga, I guess like the Friga event, like, you know, we won 50K, but after, after you pay like the sponsors and shit that come out of that, whatever it was, I think I, I want to say it was like around like 25. Um, Chris also paid like 75, excuse me, 7,500. Fl flights, Airbnb, so of course he's gonna take that money back. Yeah, of course. And then out of out of the twenty five, he just paid set whatever it was seven thousand, whatever it leaves him with. Mm -hmm. Then he paid everyone yeah, their rate, yeah. their their fees. And he and, and again, you're you're a business owner. So if you're a, if I'm a business owner and I and I want to pay you five hundred dollars and I want to pay him a thousand, that's that's I'm the business owner. Yeah. You're working for me, right? Yeah. So it's like. 
So I understand that that side of business for Chris. And then I understand, I understand what, what, what Greg was trying to say at the same time. So it was more of like a miscommunication. Greg was like, well, you told me, you know, we're going to get this, this, and this, uh, you know, then. And then, again, the numbers were down. And then he, but he, he came to everyone and told everyone, like, hey, listen. So, I mean, all I could say is, like, I think it was more of a misunderstanding. Uh, and it just blew up and it went the wrong way. Um, and then... That was for the free. That was for the Friga event. Yeah. But the thing was, Greg was close to the other player on Friga's team. They lost. You know, we beat them. Yeah, yeah, you beat them. They got paid twenty two hundred dollars, whatever, a player, and we didn't. Okay. Yeah. So we got paid less than them. But again, they probably pay for their flights. They probably pay for their own hotels. Yeah. Chris paid for everyone's stuff. So it was, it, again, it, it, it comes down to. And that's why it's like understandable to a point, and then it's understandable for, for both ends. Like you gotta look at it from both ends, you know. So it's like when somebody's on the internet, and I, let's say I went on the internet right now, I'm like, oh, Chris didn't pay me, fuck him, blah blah blah. blah. It's like, damn, Chris is not paying you, and, and then and then first thing you're thinking is he just left the situation with Savage Squad, and they were doing the same thing, so it looks bad on him. Yeah, it like blows up out of proportion. So again, I'm not saying. Chris is right. I'm not saying Greg's wrong. Like I'm, it's. I just believe it was more of a miscommunication, um, and and like Chris did say. Like I said, that's one thing I could say is Chris did say. You know, he told us like, yo, if our numbers are down, like I'll pay. I still pay. And he took Greg everywhere. Like there was events that they went to that just them two. Yeah. Like Greg blew the fuck up. Greg's surpassed me. Mr. Forty five. Forty five. <laughs> Shout out 45. I fuck with him though. That's my guy. But again, I mean, like I said, when that happened, that's really I feel like where Greg was just like, all right, this is this is not for him. For me, and then I guess Chris was more like, well, if you don't understand what I'm like trying to grow the business and trying to you know get it to where I need it to be, and you don't want to, I, I guess that's really where things were sort of separated. I don't know because again they. Kept it more like to themselves, but like you heard, you hear the little chirps here and there, um, and then you know they went live. Did you guys see the live mm -hmm. with Chris and Greg? Yeah. I was on the live right before, and then freaking driving down fucking Pleasant Hill, you lose service every time. But um, yeah, so they got into like an argument. The numbers came out, the freaking numbers and all this shit, and then. But at the end of the day, I mean, if I'm a business owner. And, and I'm telling you, I want to pay you whatever I want to pay you. I mean, there's, there's really nothing you can do. I mean, like, I'm a business owner, so I understand it. Like, you know, and then yeah, that event happened, that, that went down. And then the Boss Life event. Um, what did you want to ask me about that shit? I forgot. I, I, I my, my things messed up. I, uh, what I was saying is bullshit. <laughs> like I, had, I just had it fucked up. I was, I was, how I, I was wording it out my mouth. I was talking. What you said about the the paying, the paying. How free guys, people got more money than oh, yeah. That, 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 that's what I was trying yeah. to say. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, if they did, I mean, again, who knows if that's who knows if that's true? true. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, you gotta look at it from a business, business. Uh, standpoint. It's like. Did Friga pay for all his players to get there and do all that? Who knows? Who knows? And at the end of the day, like, that's none of our business. Yeah. I mean, we all got, I, I know we all got paid. Yeah. You know what I mean? And one thing I know I've always heard that Chris said is, that, like, I'm, I don't have the numbers that Nick had at the time when he was blowing up. Like, Chris, like, Chris. Nick is doing, like, 60000 a month. That's fucking crazy. And then Friga has numbers also that are high. Like the, Probably, so, like, 60000 a month. Yeah. Maybe so, more. Yeah, so I'm saying, and who knows what Chris is making at the end of the day? That's none of our business. I'm but I'll tell you that he's not making sixty thousand a month because he doesn't have the same amount of subscribers. And I, I'm not dissing him. I mean, he does what he has to do. He makes, he definitely makes bags. Yeah, for sure. You know. Yeah, just grow though. That's the, that's the whole thing about it. Now he's probably at, you know, he's at an all-time high right now. I'm sure. You know, he's still growing. Yeah. And he's in like all these house highlight tournaments and all these other shit. So he's yeah. doing what he has to do. He's always in Ball's life too. Same. Like here and there, he's in Ball's life. Well, not anymore because of that. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Whatever like, happened. Yeah. Or they just post old footage and I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's probably what they're doing. Yeah, for sure. Is that what after that Friga tournament was that what led the hooligans to possibly break up or it was possibly? Good question. I mean, 
I don't know. Like, that definitely caused a big ruckus. Um, finding all that, like hearing all that out, and like, who, like again, who knows if it's true or not? But you know, like, if you're on a team and you guys won, and then you hear you're the players on the team, and you hear the other team that lost got more money than you guys, yeah. it looks, it looks a lot of players are gonna be, like, you know, like, I look, I like, first thing I, I'm like is like, all right, that sounds crazy. Yeah. Um. Again, then you have to find out, like, okay, what happened, like. But again, you don't you don't know like like you never know like never know. you can only guess like yeah they might have really got paid whatever that twenty two hundred or two thousand whatever and we might only got paid whatever sixteen hundred or seven whatever it was but at the end of the day it's like did they pay for the flights did they pay for the hotel and even if they did at the end of the day it's like Chris is the business owner yeah what can you do whatever decision he goes with he's you guys just gotta follow along so I get why Greg's mad but at the same time he also gave us platform. You know, so like, for sure. like, like he he helped me out. He didn't have to put me on, yeah. but he knew I, like I helped him out back in the like when I put him on with Nick. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that it's like it was, no, not too many people. Like, if you read the comments on my last video, literally, I was arguing with someone at one in the morning last night. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. He's like, oh, it, well, you know, I'll bring this back up after that question. Because I don't want to say it, but yeah, after yeah. this, after that question, I'll bring that back up. Remind me about that question. All right, gotcha. But I was about to say too. Did you think that the hooligans were gonna last like a lifetime? Let's say like I thought it was gonna be like, at least a two, three year thing. Yeah. Definitely. Like I think we would have made big ruckus if we stayed like all of us together. I think it needed to be the core five though. As soon as people like you started not seeing that core five that yeah. started that first video, it was like I think that affected. So I think a so. Lot. Let's say how you said that you uh, you thought it was uh, not the ball's life. Was it the ball's life that ended the, it? Sorry, ending it. Or was it the Friga? The Friga. The Friga. Yeah. So was it basically when um, what's his name when he got injured? Is that the downfall? JJ. Yeah. You think that was like? Obviously, you guys didn't look at it like it was that. Upsetting. It was no, for sure. I mean, he didn't get injured first. Like, yeah. remember, he was more like, G League offered me this much money. Yeah. Go get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're still all like, we're still we're still all trying to grow. I'm still trying to grow right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm only a small YouTuber. Like, I only grew so much off of it. And at the time, I was more focused on hoolies, 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 hoolies. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you don't focus on yourself, like you can grow a little bit here and there. You'll grow, but you got to focus on yourself at the same or time. Or you got to be that one player that's just. Just doing crazy ass shit. Even JJ, though. JJ was... I mean, JJ is fucking lethal. Yeah. And he didn't... Like, he grew, but it didn't grow. Like, everyone... Know, like, I can go to the mall right now and I'll probably get stopped and take a photo or ask, you know... Are you telling me from the mall? Like, stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. happens all the time. But it's not crazy. Like, you're not... You can't walk through a mall. No. Yeah. But with Chris, when we're together... When we're together... We're like fucking... We thought you were celebrities, bro. <laughs> Chris is like low-key, like lit, lit. Like, For real? yeah, like he's super lit. Like every 15, maybe 15, 20 steps, somebody's stopping God him. damn. Like he is like, you know, like, especially in the mall. We would go to the mall everywhere we went. LA, fucking... Wherever we were, we went to the mall. And it was just like, are you guys the holy Chris? Yeah. Oh. Like it would be... And then more and more people come over because they see a photo and... It was crazy. It was, it was, it's fun. Like, it's still cool. I mean, but it's like definitely weird. It's a weird feeling at first. You're like, what the hell is happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Is Tommy Handel still a hooligan? Tommy Handel is not, no longer a hooligan, bro. God damn. Why? why? <laughs> like, why? Uh, and the reason why I'm no longer a hooligan is, uh, you know, again, it's not Chris. It's not. Holies, I mean, if I, I could say this, if the squad was still together, I would stay 100%. Because mm -hmm. I love the environment. I love, you know, I fuck with Greg, JJ, Debo, like Chris. Um, it's just, he's also getting these new players. And, and obviously, he's rebuilding his team now. He has no other choice, which, you know, you have to do that. Um, it's more of, like I said, like focusing on my own content. Like that's really where it is. Like I also want to do other content. I got you. Like, you know, I, I have a family, like I'm 30 years old. Yeah. I'm not gonna play this fucking game forever. I have maybe 
maybe another four or five years. Um, but who knows? I can get hurt. Your knees start <laughs> I got hurt. I got hurt not too long ago, and I'm out right now, actually. Oh, yeah? What yeah. Happened? I bruised my hip bone. How? Uh, we were in Georgia, what? Saturday. Yeah, in the Tracy team. McGrady one-on-one tournament. In the second game, like second point or first point. I just fucked up my hip. I don't. I forgot how it happened, and I'm actually about to drop that video, like probably like Monday or Tuesday. But yeah, so it's like I'm out for a week and a half, you know. Yeah. And like I'm 30. It's not like I can recover. Like I'm 20. Like I tried to, I tried to play today, and I, when I went to the gym this morning, I can't even fucking run. I'm like look like an old, old fucking <laughs> grandpa. But it's like, I mean, again, I don't, I still want to do, I still am going to do basketball. I love that. I'm going to do it until I probably can't even fucking move. But yeah. nobody's going to want to watch an old guy fucking, I mean, I, I'm still young. I still feel great. Like, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is like, if I don't focus on my content, how, like, how much am I really going to grow myself? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah, I, I, I'll grow as a hooli. Like, people will know me as the hooli. And my face as a hooli, and I'm sure they always will now, maybe, you know. But at the end of the day, I gotta focus on my own content and grow my own channel and stuff. Because if not, you're only gonna grow so much. Like, yeah, the hooligans channel grew, Chris' channel grew. We didn't even have a hooli channel. Yeah, it wasn't even a hooli channel. So if maybe if we made a hooli channel and we all did that, like, that was like, one of the game plans. We didn't last that long, so. That's really the the main definitely, thing. Definitely made an impact on the YouTube basketball scene for sure. What happened? I said definitely made an impact on the YouTube basketball scene for sure. Yeah, no, like there's already like documentaries about us and stuff, like which is crazy because we only, like I said, we, that's just so. We were only together for so long, you know. Like me and Greg, JJ, like so me and JJ knew each other. Me and Chris knew each other. Greg and Chris didn't know each other that well, at all. They just was on the internet and he seen him and he was like, yo, I want to pick you up for the holies. JJ I brought, Chris didn't really know JJ. And then none of, like me and JJ didn't know Greg. JJ didn't know Chris, JJ didn't know Debo. I didn't know Debo. So it's like, but once we got on the court, we fucking clicked. Like it was just like a switch and it was so fun. It was like, it was cool. Like we were all vibing. We were literally just running through these so-called basketball teams yeah. and we're and it was fun like it was like we literally would play three or four games and we never lost like for like a month straight we almost went the whole month without losing That's crazy. and when we five of like i said the five of us never lost a game ever on this on the same team and i wish we would have kept going man i really do That's crazy. is your next step finding a team or just doing the solo content um well, you can't say. It's a good question. No, no, I'm going to say it. I want to say it. It's just a good question. I mean, I'm definitely doing solo content, but I want to see what other options there are, definitely. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'll make my own team. Who knows? Be become a coach again. No, <laughs> no, 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 I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Yeah, no, I'm fucking with you. 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 Yo, we got to get PD on here, though. We gotta get Petey in. Petey's my dog. Petey, come on, Petey. Come on, Petey. I'll hold that camera. Fuck them. Oh, I already ended it. All right, cool. Come on. I know it's been a fucking crazy journey for you. You're behind the scenes. Crazy. For sure, for sure, it's crazy. All right, hold on. He's, he was your coach, though. He's my coach. I was a freshman. <laughs> I was a freshman. I was an eighth grade going into freshman year, I think. No, no, it's freshman year going into 10th grade year. And he's my coach for the summer. Varsity bro, what? bro, move over, dude. Bro, what? Fuck, why are you like six foot nine? <laughs> nah, he was um. He elbows coached. on my chin. <laughs> <laughs> he had he had coach. He was a varsity coach of our AAU team. He was the Spartans, St. Cloud Spartans. And he's a varsity coach. That's where I played. I played on St. Cloud Spartans. So maybe that's why I, I played. You know Barry. Yeah, Coach Barry. Coach Barry's yeah, my guy. Right. Gianni, Johnny's his son. Bro, I know. Bro, I know everybody, bro. Yeah, that's why I played only like a couple of tournaments. I tried out there. That's in the St. Cloud Civic Center. Yeah. So you guys, that so that probably that's probably where I started. Yeah, I was, I'm talking about though. You graduated what year? 2019. Yeah, black graduate 2020. When did you play? Yeah, but you didn't try out for a team. I never seen, I never seen it there. It was probably before we're we we all tried out for a team. I was younger. Yeah, I remember. But you know, you're thinking of St. Cloud Spartans. 
But I wasn't the coach coach. No, like you were the varsity came, coach. I helped them coach. And I'm like, bro, I'm going to make a team. Yeah, you know, you made. I'm going to take you your players and make, you made the I event. made Mamba Elite. Yeah, Mamba Elite. But it was a event of the, the jerseys were the Vaughn Guard jerseys. The jer- the high school team, Coach Barry's high school team jerseys. No, that's, that was the la- that was a, that was a, that, that second year. Yeah, yeah. That was I had year. to use their thing because they were paying for all the, all the stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck Avangor. <laughs> Nah, so yeah, but he was my coach. He used to train us. He used to play, practice with us. He used, he used to kill us. I'm not gonna lie. Tommy used to kill us. He was tough. Tommy's nah, tough, bro. You're tough. He's not nice. No, he's not. good. No, he's good. He's back good. then, I was. I was he's just tough back then. Yeah, I just didn't have the confidence. That's really what it was. He's like, so much better now. Like he should people, be playing and training to try to go to college because he could probably make it like a solid D2 right now. Yeah. Solid, but six three. Six four. You uh, yeah, it's my in high school. Yeah, it's good. You're in high school still? Yeah, I'm about to graduate. Yo, what the? I f- thought you were Yo, great. what type of lifestyle are you living in? Being next to Tommy, then you have you have to be the coolest kid in school. Uh, it's, I go to a private school. It's a basketball school. We went private school. I go to a Pathways. It's right on. This guy lives with me. Yeah, basically, I go there every much. weekend. Yeah. I pick him up like Thursdays or Fridays and he stays with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fun, bro. It's lit, bro. It's, it's fucking Call of Duty every night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Dude, that's another thing we're trying to do. We're trying to start streaming. That's, that's Streaming, oh right. my gosh, because this guy's fucking hilarious. Oh my nah, god, hilarious playing with him. He fun? sucks though. So what? Did you just have? Did you just have a bond for him that you just randomly thought of him to be your no, camera? This, no. this is how it happened. Funny so, situation. Go ahead, tell him. So I was, we were basically. So I used to record for this guy named Tyrese. If you guys know who he is, Ty. Ty? Yeah, 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 Ty. So I used to. I, he he was supposed to go to this event in Philly. Yo, you, so you were right next, like, bro, I've been, I've talked to Ty, that's my boy, like, yeah, yeah, he took, Ty, Ty's my dog, so, um, we were supposed to go to this Van Philly, ended up not working out, situations happened, so we ended up staying down, and then we we're gonna go play Friga, he was gonna go play Friga, and I was like, hey, bro, I got my camera, let's, I'll record, like, this is gonna be good, so, Ty's team is playing, Tommy's team, the winner of that team, Friga's got next, uh-huh. so, I'm hoping Ty wins, so I can record Ty play Friga, it'll be a great video, first video for Ty Reed. it's gonna be yeah. perfect, playing Friga, winning, if, Possibly, yeah. so it's just content in general. yeah, it's just content, but it ended up not happening. Yeah, we smoked him. To- Tommy, yeah, and Tommy's sitting there like this, standing, and he's on his camera, and I'm I, Ty's not playing no more. So I'm like, bro, the, like basically, I'm thinking like, why, why am I out here? Like, there's yeah. no reason why I'm here. Like, I should just go home. We're all the way in Point Siena. I live in Altamont. That's God. that's yeah. all the way in. Yeah. yeah, it's a drive, bro. So I'm like, damn, man, this is this sucks. I'm pissed. So I see Tommy with his camera. I go up to him, like, yo, bro, you need anybody to record? And I know Tommy, so I went up to Tommy. I was like, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yo, you need anybody to record? He's like, yeah, I recorded. He liked it. And then he told, put me to the side, and he was like, I want you to be my cameraman. I was like, bro, t- he signed me already. <laughs> signed like, me. Off the rip, like, I was ready to go. So ended up happening. And then I was supposed to go to uh, Phoenix with them, but the whole Chris situation happened. So the ball's life. Yeah, ball's life. I mean, ball's life situation happened. They ended up going, I was like, forget it. So and then he was going to Tampa, and then I went to New York. I went for my birthday my f- in a funeral. So when I went out to New York, we were still waiting. And right when I came back, I'm like, damn, like, I'm thinking, because Tommy hasn't hit me up in a few days. Yeah. So I'm like, bro, fuck. Like, <laughs> I missed my opportunity. Yeah, yeah, like, damn, bro. I thought it was Kevin, though. Did it? And then, and then. And I'm like, you know what? Let me call this fucker. And then Tommy was like, Tommy was like, um, they were going to this place in Daytona, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, I'm at my brother's house he's right next to my brother's house so he come picks me up and then i go over shoot i shoot that uh chris's video the um the video that he plays in daytona he picks up the new center yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I, I was i was the he picked up that dude Keita? the big guy big huge guy oh, I, I, okay yeah. I, was second, I was the second angel <laughs> so crash team i record for him I'm like bro this gotta go on youtube it's gotta go on youtube yeah. i sent him the whole footage i emailed him and then that's when i was like bro what that's that easy to be a cameraman like not 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 trying to like shit on cameramans but i was like bro this is this is light work like, i could do this for yeah. sure 100 percent. there's no question so then i got my um my brother has a camera i was like bro let me use your camera for the record blah blah and then that's when the philly thing came yeah. and i was like oh this is a good opportunity for us like we could blow off of this like because mm-hmm. they're good like that they, they can hoop feel me yeah. like they got some they have a good resume if you really look at it yeah. state championship osceola so yeah. Yeah. You know, I went to go with them, and then that's how it happened. It didn't work out. I saw Tommy. I asked him. I was like, "Let me record." I recorded. He told me, "Come on." I went with him. That um, was it. And he, the, the really what hooked me. He was like, "Oh, when we go out or anything, you're paid for everything, all exclusive. We go eat, we go everything." I'm like, "Bro, what?" So I'm working. I'm basically doing again. Everything is free, and I'm getting paid. Yeah. Sign. It's the best job in the world. And and 
not saying because hooping was you know i love hooping you guys tell me like even when we record four games yeah I'll I'll turn the camera off and I'm, I'm on the court now oh, hooping. Yeah. but it's just like in my eyes to it like i wasn't really for hooping wise like bro hooping that that's a that's a job bro like, that's serious like five o'clock in the morning now you got to go work out after breakfast you got to go work out it's a life like oh. there's no work there's no nothing like when i was hooping i didn't work yeah didn't work there was no work it was training every single day and it was like do I really want to do that? The rest like, of, rest of your life. And the chances are you making it. Making it's tough. Tough. Very, very and I hated school. Bro, I did that shit, bro. It's there was tough. no way I was going to be doing school. There's no way. College, like, serious? Come on, bro. The reason I'm in this school now is because it's easy. <laughs> Imagine if it wasn't easy. Like, I'll be struggling low key. So, yeah. I'm like, fuck it. I got the great opportunity now. So, I'm chilling. I'll be cool. You guys still hooping, though? Is that that? Yeah, we hoop with open gym really? and stuff. For yeah. sure, yeah. yeah. We recently, we haven't been just because we've been, like, so focused lately. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. sure let yeah, us know. We got never. Them. Yeah, we be, we've gone to we've gone to a lot of parks, bro. It's just anywhere you probably been at, we've been at. Except if where you, you guys usually stay or who at? What's your main spot at? Like, where's like where, where's the court that you like? I I go there most of the time. Oh shit! Oh, I used to I used to fucking be. I know all those fucking people. Okay. That's why. That's where they found Carlos. That's the one right there. Yeah. yeah. Um, this creep party is bro. Carl, bro. Well, okay. We were supposed to get Carlos on here, but he, I don't know what happened to his Instagram. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he has an Instagram anymore. What? I don't. I don't know if he has an Instagram anymore. I, I have no idea. Or unless. Don't say anything. Yeah, don't, don't say anything. I, I don't know. You you might know way more. Than me. <laughs> I know everything. Yeah. Trust me. We, I knew Carlos when bro. He, was, he went to Osceola. Like he was young and but like you know he, Carlos is Carlos. So everybody knew him. He's a really no interesting person to watch on camera. Very, yeah, yeah. Even off camera, he's hilarious, bro. Like, he's just a guy you can just, like, he would just make you laugh. Like, being in the lunchroom, doing dumb shit, laughing. Cool. You know what I gotta say? With all the bullshit going on, at least Nick took him off the street. Yeah, I heard, I know he was on the street. Yeah. You know, yeah. That, at least, whatever the fuck it's he pays him, whatever, at least he's off the street. Yeah. If, I mean, I don't even know if he's getting paid. Whatever the fuck it is, but yeah. I can is. say that about, like, at least he's yeah. off. That's so. Good. I didn't even think about it like that. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I really wonder sure. why Carlos or Chauncey wouldn't go with Chris. I really wonder. You want me to tell you why? I think personally, when Chris left, he made such a big impact where I think he put Nick in a certain situation where he's like, fuck, I really got to pay my players or they're all going to leave and I'm going to lose that bag I'm making. Yeah, think yeah, about it. Him, if, Carlos lo- if Carlos would have left, you probably would have what signed. really? Uh, yeah, what really That's entertaining side That's do they have? Chris and are the most entertaining. What really? Not even Chauncey. Chauncey is more like a, a the hood boy. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. gonna fight. Like he's yeah, that yeah. entertaining side. He's not talking. He's not. He's not. He's not gonna start. He's not gonna start. He's not gonna go up to someone and just punch him in the mouth. Like he's. Yeah. I mean, I don't know him really, but he's more. He wants to hoop. And you yeah. know what I'm saying? He's gonna talk his little shit, and and they're gonna. But he's a hooper. Like he's a good basketball player. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he's down to fight. Which is okay. That's that's cool. But like, that's not entertaining enough for Nick to still get his back. So if I feel like he was like, you know what, I gotta like, Chris put me in a certain situation where I gotta pay these guys, pay and them. then I feel like Chauncey was like, ah, this is my opportunity to say this is my shit now. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I want this much. Otherwise, I am leaving. Yeah, exactly. Who knows though? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. But I feel like that if that is the answer, I feel like that would be the best answer. I forgot to ask you before um, Pete hopped on. Where the was that game ever in the fucking works? Savage Squad against Hoolies. Oh, no, that was never in the work. Like he tried multiple times. Like he reached out to me. I still got messages. He reached out to Greg. He just messaged me the other day. When I dropped that video, Jesus. when I dropped my video that I was no longer with the Hoolies, he reached out to me, and I actually read exactly what he said. Hold on. <laughs> word for word. Word for word. Word for word. I got you. Word for word. Yeah, bro. Your life has to be crazy because you're seeing like I th- you're a hooper at the end of the day. Before this, you're like yeah. you're seeing all the people that you thought like that were like big time, oh, really, bro, really I close. Exactly to you. I'm saying like I was just talking to my friends about that. They were like, bro, I know him as Tommy Handles. He's Tommy Handles. I'm like, no, bro, that's Tommy. That's Tommy. Yeah. Like, I, I know. I call him right now. I'm like, yeah. it's so crazy. It's last cool. I met last time that was the best experience. Last like, time we right spoke, this is what I told him. He's, he was, like, trying to get me to play him one-on-one so he could say he played like a hooligan. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I just hit the call button. No. Fuck that kid. Oh, oh my back. God. Now he's going to call me. <laughs> fuck. So last time, he's going to call me back. Last time he said, 
Laugh my. This is what I said to him because he said he's like, oh, I'll play you blah blah one on one, blah, off camera, blah, whatever. And I'm like, laugh my ass off. You're a bum. Don't make me share when you told me not to bring out real hoopers because he told me that that day, and I only brought out Chris. I still have it safe. And then he said, this is what he said yesterday. Hope you're you're well aside from all the petty talk we've had over the last six months. For real. Hope you're well, dog. Stay at it. Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> so, I can't believe I just fucking called that guy. <laughs> I thought he was calling me someone else's. I was like... Nah, that would have been crazy. But yeah, man. So, um, he was in DMs. He called. We, we spoke on video call. Like, he, he do tried. Think, do you think it was more Chris was saying no, though? Chris said no. Chris didn't want to deal with it because... He knew it would have been a problem. He didn't want the angle to make it look like it was set up either. Yeah. Um, because it would have looked set up. Like, he left and it was more set up. And then, at the same time, Nick sort of died when that happened for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And Chris didn't want to give him the benefit of the doubt where it could give him the rebuild back up. Where it's like, oh, it was set up. We'll still fuck with Nick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I understand it. And it's very true. Like, I... Like, I wouldn't have done it either unless you're talking about bags of money. Yeah. And the last time... That could have been a huge... Effect. The last time I heard, we were when we were playing, I think it was after the X, Squad X versus Ball's Life, um, someone did bring it up to Chris, and he, and he did, he was, I think he was like, nah. And they, like, mentioned a number, and he was like, whoa. And he was like, nah. <laughs> but, like... He thought about it. I mean... If it's the right bag, Chris would have did it. I know Chris. I'm talking about Chris. And Chris is the type where it would have been like, you want to play me that bad? I want 70% and you're going to take, you know, 30. Yeah. And you're going to eat that shit up. Shit. Like, that's how Chris is. He would have lost. He's going to make him feel some type of way. Who would have lost? The Savage Squad would have lost. Oh, I was about to say. Yeah, you heard it I was about to say, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Uh, I'm talking about Savage Squad. I'm talking about Savage Squad. Big motherfucker. Um... Seven. Yeah, yeah, that motherfucker's yeah, huge. The, the dude that Chris just picked up, Pro K Town. He's the same height as him, and he's a fucking European G League player. I think is he's a fucking beast. Yeah, yeah, I'm not like, like the dude can shoot, Chris. dribble, dunk, win, like. So, I'm so you clearly did speak to Chris about the the your the, your separation. You're like, yo. Yeah, no, we're still we're still on good terms. Yeah. Like, everything's still good. He like, understood you. He was, he was, um, I wouldn't say completely. I mean, we had disagreements. Um, but again, like, it's like, you know, like, he's like a brother to me. We knew each other before this, and that's the first thing I said. Like, bro, I'm not gonna let this YouTube shit, like, you know. And again, like, it was more me. Like, I want to go this way. I want to build myself. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, and, and again, like, if the team was still around, I'd still be around. Of course. It's not, like, him. It's just more of, you're getting new players anyway. You might as well be, take, take a whole, you know, full circle with the whole team. And you take I, a big leap also on yourself. Like, yeah, I, I am, but I know I can do it. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's I know, like, like, again, like, I didn't grow super huge off of it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, people will still recognize me, still know me, but... If I'm not on the platform where they can find me, what, what am I really benefiting off of, you know? So, and he understands because he's a businessman. So he was like, yeah, I understand that. And he, he respected the way I did it and, and it is what it is, you know? Business at the end of the day. You got to take care of yourself. Like, but like you said, hooligans wouldn't be forever. It would have been that four or five year run that he dreamt it to be. Yeah, like I thought it was going to be like a two year thing, honestly. Like I'm like, all right, we could do this for two years and then we could all like go our separate ways and, yeah. and build off of that. Yeah. But it only lasted, whatever, eight, seven, eight, six months, six, whatever it is. Yeah, that's it. And unfortunately, it ended the way it did. But, I mean, Chris is still going to go on, you know, and focus yeah. on what he has to do. Greg's doing the big three tryout, which he I has, like, that. in a couple of days, which is, you know, hopefully he makes it. And then I'm still going to do what I got to do, you know, like, yeah. at the end of the day, like. I feel like you three were definitely the core three. Like, you guys are, like, the big three of the hooligans, in my opinion. In my opinion, how I saw um, it. I mean, like. Entertaining wise, yeah, I think it was Chris, me, and, and Greg, and then like the actual Hooper was JJ. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. JJ was JJ's a pro, but though. Debo could have been fucking huge, like entertaining wise. Yeah, we didn't really get to see Debo that he much. Did, he did like one video where it was so funny, like 
he's a he's a he's a hood guy. Yeah. So, but he's a he's a funny side to him. Like, in one of the videos, um, he stripped one of the guys, like stripped the ball. Mm-hmm. He takes the ball. He he like literally sits on the floor and he bounces on the floor. He's like, <laughs> yo, like it was so funny. Yeah, yeah. And he's like not bouncing straight up and down. He's bouncing like towards him. Towards him. And I'm like, bro, what is going on right now? Like, everyone in the crowd started laughing. So yeah. I'm like, yo, this guy actually has a funny side. So he gets up, he gives the ball back, and he goes, go ahead, try again, try again. And he steals it again. And then he, he strips the ball from the guy and he throws it down the court. He's like, this is supposed to be a good fucking hooper? Why is he out here against us? Like, Yo. pure entertainment. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Then another one where we had just, and if this video, if this would have, if these cameramen would have got it, we would have, that, that clip would have went um, really viral. He, um... I don't know if you've ever seen the video we played in New York. It was in West 4th. We played a, I played a midget. We played the midget. Mm-hmm. He was a, he's a Harlem Globetrotter. Yeah, 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 yeah. He shot the three in my face. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, Debo picked him up and brought him to the ice cream man, to the truck that was parked at the block. It was the funniest thing ever. Really? But we had just got those camera guys, like that day. Uh-huh. They didn't catch any of it. They were focused. They were still on the court. Wow. But he picked them up, literally, and yeah. ran out of the West 4th gate. <laughs> and went to the ice cream truck and said, here, this is where you belong. Oh, oh Debo's a savage. Like, he's a fucking, he's a demon, bro. Yeah. Wow. And, like, nice. I, like the, the game was still playing. Nice. And we were, we were just dying laughing. And Chris is, like, like, you know, going crazy. Like, please tell me that's not him. Good. <laughs> I thought it was him. I got another message. Um, and Chris is like, bro, why are you guys not following him? Like, what's up? Like, yeah. But, yeah, they missed that part. Like, they got him picking it up and then like walking away and and then they went back to the game but like if you would have got that on camera it was so funny i was crying (laughs) like i was dying laughing behind the camera because i didn't want to know what to see me but it's just like pure entertainment of course people want to see that shit yeah sure before you you get with tommy who was the best youtube hooper you you thought like who was the best youtube hooper oh Devin laugh for sure Devin laugh for sure for sure bro he's Bro, when I watched him play Friga, it's like, come on. Who? Devin Alab. He's the best one, for sure. You know what I He's think? better than you. you Devin Alab? Yeah. Of course. Listen, there's a lot of hoopers better than me. I'll, I'll admit it. I'm fucking 30 years old now. <laughs> I, I, you, I stopped I playing. Jumping. I don't think he can guard me, though. He can definitely guard you. I don't think he can guard me. He can guard you. That's he can definitely Devin. guard you. Devin Alab? He's probably maybe six foot. He's mm-hmm. bouncy now. I saw he's working on the yeah. draft. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, give me a gym. I know who can beat you. Give me a gym. I know who can beat you. Ooh. MK. I love to play MK. <laughs> MK? Oh, my God. I love to play that kid. I heard he just got stuck. I can set that up, though. Stitches. You know I can set that up. No, Don't even that guess up. that up. You know that. You know, I know why you're saying that, too. You yeah, fucking yeah. know. <laughs> MK, MK, MK. Fuck MK. Yeah. yeah. You know, whatever it is, what it is. But no, but Devin Lag is a bucket, bro. Have you seen Devin Lag is really tough. Simple? No, Devin Lag sit, sit down like. You know who's crazy. really good, Marcel. Marcel's Marcel's yeah, the one that does on the little mini hoop. He oh, be dunking yeah, in his backyard. Yeah. He's really underrated. Like, he's fucking. He's nasty, dude. And he has bunnies. For being like what? What is he like? Five, 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 six. He's probably like five, six, he five, dunk seven. Dunk, dunk, like Marcel come here. Dunk. Yeah, Marcel's hard to dunk. I don't know about that. <laughs> bro, I could, I'll pull up. I could pull up. I don't know. Right I don't know. Not on his. You talking about his rim? His no, rim no. I'm talking about ten, bro. His rim. No, I mean a ten foot rim. Marcellus Howard. You don't have to pull it up, man. Because <laughs> he <laughs> believe you, bro. I used to watch Devin Alive back in the day. He used to train these two Asian kids back in the day. That's when he started this whole little documentary about like the process of basketball and like how loving it. And bro, I fell in love with Devin Alive. Like yo, training these kids, living yeah, the life, that, though, working on it. And bro, look at him now. Like bro, he's just hooping with all these other guys. You know, he content. He is starting. He started his team. Yeah, he got his team. What's his Lethal. Name? Him, has he got? You got has he got on it? Yeah. He's Look at that backcourt. Him, has he got? He got some pro. This lefty kid with dreads. He's fucking nasty. He's better than both of them, I think. Honestly, <laughs> he is nasty. Um, some big, and I don't know the other guy. I didn't see who they picked up for the last player. That's crazy. They were doing like workouts and tryouts, and he was doing open gyms, and yeah. he was really recruiting because he knows like. You gotta hit the scene running, and like he's got a big platform, so he's gotta hit the scene like running. Like, no, for sure. there's no lo- like if you lose, it's like ah, uh, it seems alright. No, like they're gonna share your name. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. So he picked up some fucking elite players. Yeah, I'm surprised. Has he, you think has he got? He's gonna stay with them though. Has he got like with him? With him, like yeah. I think they signed him, like officially signed him. So 
That's crazy. Because he was with the villains. He was trying to do that villain team. Yeah. Like him and like whatever the other guy's name is and one other player. Yeah. And then like then like two weeks later, Dev and the Lab announced like, yo, I'm about to build a team type of deal. Like, Shit. come to my open gym. And then got him in and that was it. Like, yeah. Who do you think is the best player you've ever played though? One on one or like? Like just at the team? Like, on YouTube? Yeah, on YouTube. Best player I ever played on YouTube? Shit, that's a good question. Honestly, best player? Including your own team. Overall? Well, it's gotta be JJ. Oh, definitely JJ. Oh, then fuck that. Let's take it out. <laughs> hey, you think JJ's the best hooper? That you, that you JJ will kill any player on YouTube. Hands up. Bro, that guy's a bucket, bro. Bro, he played full court one on ones, like in tournaments. Like, they did. That's a thing in New York. You play full court one on one. <laughs> you can look it up. Like, yeah. that's a thing. Like, and he was. And he played against like NBA players, and he went far. Like, bro, he's a fucking hooper. Like, that's why I'm trying to like these people are like, oh, I'll play him one on one. It's like, nah. you have no idea what you're getting yourself so, into. So, yeah, take but a back question. to that. Yeah. Um, um, probably. I mean, I did lock you up, bro. But probably Austin Mills. Yeah. He's cold, man. Really. He just had. A, he definitely had an off day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I made it. I hyped it up with the energy. This is before I got with the Hoolies, actually. I was wearing my bandana. A lot of people don't know it's me. Yeah. But like, I, I, was, I was telling them, like, you're in the wrong hood. You're in the wrong yeah. neighborhood. Yeah. I said, like, I don't care where I am. I'm like, all right, you're in the wrong place. Yeah. And like, I like, this is where I live. And I had like all the hood boys <laughs> yeah, out with me. Yeah, all the people yeah. watching you. And they were like, yeah. And, like, <laughs> that video went viral. And like, they had me on the capture, like, you're in the wrong hood, saying like something like that, like the thumbnail. But it's like it was it was a fun environment. That was fun, but dude's cold. Yeah, cold. Cool. That's an interesting pick too. I, 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 think, I thought he was cold I think, too. When I, I think he's I think like I played him, I played White Iverson. I think he's better than White Iverson. Well honest. he has his own like little signature little uh the, what's it called? White Iverson's good. Don't get me wrong. Like, Iverson's like that? Or he goes like Iverson. puts yeah. a his back like yeah. come on bro. Five yeah. nine, five ten, maybe. I could be wrong, but you think, you think he's better than White Iverson? Yeah. Wow. Overall package? Yeah. Yeah. Cause he got he got more of a package. Like White he Iverson has that cross step side shot. Step back, yeah. He has like, bro, he's fucking make up his own move. I think at one point Austin was just he kept passing the ball too much. Like he was just trying yeah. to be a facilitator. He didn't want to shoot. Like you could tell he wasn't just trying to be his I own mean, thing. I mean, he was still getting into into it with the team. Yeah, but I think now he's just really but locked he in. You know what's crazy? Cold. Well, Austin, I, I I knew I saw Austin before the YouTube thing where he was doing like on TikTok his little like road to road yeah, to. Um, he played Friga. He drove all the way to uh, Ohio to see Friga and play one on one on YouTube on his channel before they all, before he, he even blew up. I think Austin lost. Yeah, I think. I think Frigga won. I don't know why Frigga's good too. I, I, now I'm thinking about, but I still think A. Milne got the best overall. Oh, I'll package. play Frigga. I'll play Frigga. I think. Oh, no, I played Frigga. Oh, you played. I played Frigga well, when he went to St. Paul Civic Center. But the thing is, is like, also, I knew you were on there. If you're saying one on one, like if you if it's a one on one tournament and who's in it, I mean, of course I'm gonna go with. Honestly, if it's like, I mean, it's gonna be like a HOH, like how it was. I'd go with it. Like say say, I'll go with MK. He's fucking aggressive, man. It comes down to aggressive so I, I not and physical. I, did not I knew he was gonna win. Nah, I knew. I, I knew. But it comes down to physicality. And it comes down to defense and no refs. Listen, Free is not physical like that. I played against him. He's not that physical. I promise you, but I feel like everyone that knew that that whole thing started, no one thought he was gonna win for sure. There's no way. I feel like there's no way he thought he was gonna win. I, 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 I honestly, I honestly knew he was gonna be in the top four though. Really? Oh yeah, for so sure. Aggressive, MK, bro. yeah, I thought he would be in the top four. Top for four. sure. Cash, cash, cash. I didn't, no way, didn't nobody expected cash. cash to be at the, in the final. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I respect for cash. Sure, no, though, like, I respect thing. cash for that because he's a hard worker. He's not. He's not super athlete. He's a top of the key guy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, man, bro, he's playing football at that point. Yeah. He's playing football at a fucking point. I yeah. thought he was just cheating at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. that fucking shoulder move. Yeah, yeah, that's so deep. But hey, shout out Cash, man. He's a cool dude. Yeah. He's really cool. He's a humble guy, bro. Yeah. That's when I started watching YouTube. But like, all the basketball but, stuff was way before MK, this new generation. MK, if it's gonna be a one on one, you're gonna put MK and it's a guard play. But hey, Millie gets physical, bro. You don't even think Dev can cook both of them. Dev, Dev would cook all of them. So why'd you put him on the thing? Because I never played. You said played. Oh, you're right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's never played against them. <laughs> I, I know, but Dev is a, a he's a he's a bro. European player too. You know yeah, he played overseas yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. So it's like I don't really want to count those guys. Like I'm talking about street ballers that contact really came contact out of creators. Contact, yeah, yeah, yeah. A Melly is bro. I'm telling you, he's got a fucking bag. Like it's not only just like his his shot. Like 
Like, White Everson got a good shot, got good handles, but he does similar moves. Like, A. Miller, you don't know what the fuck he's going to pull out, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. And, like, he's mad fundamental. He's got good IQ, but there's so much you different. You play, oh, what's his name? Frank Nitty Jr. One on one. Frank Nitty. Yeah. He's tough. I, but he's he's basically professional. Yeah, he's professional. Fuck. He's playing the truly. Yeah, that's. Yeah, he scored the game winning point on me in one of those games. I saw the solid. You know he played the big three. He posterized somebody like it was nothing. Caught it left hand. Boom. He's it's like he's tough. That's crazy. He's tough. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, you know, the ball is like East Coast versus West. Who are you taking, honestly? Both of you. Fuck both of them. You know that Midwest team. <laughs> You really think that Midwest team is really Bro, popular? You know that guard that's on no, there, that's lefty? Iso? That Iso? Iso? No, not Iso Joe. The lefty, the one? Durag, that when he went to Chicago. Oh, yeah, no, no, crazy. okay, no, no, by himself alone, yeah, yeah, by oh, himself alone. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. Crazy. Like, I thought, like, what? Fuck both of them. Midwest squad is OD, right? They, 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 they look elite, place. but they don't get enough clout. They, they don't. They that get Chicago, no love That Chicago show is packed. But that don't, isn't that the one with the shooter that, like, the yeah. one that's shooting the ball weird yeah. and yeah, yeah, straight yeah, yeah. flashes? Like, like this. Yo, his shot is crazy. His shot's crazy. He don't really be yeah. shooting like that, though. They're clout, yeah. They're they definitely have not reached that point where it's popping. Because I feel like nah, it pops It pops on my score page. That's why. I don't be watching them. They're hood boys. Like, that's not entertaining, though. Yeah. Like it is to a certain point, but at the same time, if it's not like you're just watching basketball. if you're not yeah, punching you're someone in the face, you're not getting that many you views. If you want to get views, but that's Chicago. You want to get views, you get you get people like Chris and Sean and, and um, Carlos, Carlos and fuck. Like those are the fucking entertainers. Like you're like, yo, this guy is hilarious. He sucks, but he's so funny. Yeah. He be hitting game winners. You know saying like. Bro. That's a fact. Carlos be hitting game winners. Low key, I don't know. Like nowhere. people are like, bro, I read the comments yeah, and they're yeah. like, yo, they're like, yo, this guy sucks, but he fucking, he's hilarious. And I'm just like, bro, but he hits a lot of clutch threes. Yeah. He always hit game winners and it's like rainbow. I mean, bro, what else, what else is he working on though? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, if, I, if, I, if I'm Nick, I'm telling him just fucking shoot the fucking shot. Like just bro, work on your shot. He's honestly, so, so when he's just dude. straight cussing, like pressing these dudes, I'm like, yo, why is bro, he like, yeah, I'm thinking, uh, like back then? Like when me and my friends watching me, I'm I know like, bro, I wish little. he would press me like that. When I came out here in 2012, was it 12, 11, whatever it was, that court is the only court I knew, yeah. Oak Street. Yeah. And he was always there. I always, knew when he was a bro. kid. I, I used to look there to like train and stuff like that back when I was like, you know, trying to be serious about this. But that's only like memory about hooping there. Because I know it's always packed. And it it's, was packed. That I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was packed. Oh, what were you saying? What were you saying? Uh, you were just when saying you, something. I couldn't when you were with your boys watching the. Oh, yeah, like Carlos, bro. And he used to press people. Like, bro, like, you're not pressing me. Like, if I was on the court, I used to always say, like, Carlos is not doing He'll that press you now, though. He would not press me. I'm I bet sorry. you. I'll put any amount of money in. If he presses me, I will fight him. He'll fight you now, though. All right, but he he would not win this. So he, <laughs> it's not it's not the outcome. Oh, no, he might smoke you. I ain't gonna lie. Never. I'm sorry. Nah. Yo, Carlo, he might. He might. Nah. Nah. I seen Carlos at a club one time. It's funny. Bro, little, yeah, little story. Like, cause we went to I went to a Kissimmee club. My cousin's is like. <laughs> it was a, a Puerto Rican night. I mean, a Spanish night. Spanish night. Puerto Rican night. Spanish night. And I saw him there. It was vibing with his little polo. A little tough. Yeah, dude. I was like, yeah, Carlos a character for real, bro. Off the camera, like he was literally in the crowd dancing. Nah, you, you can definitely see he's funny as fuck, though. In general, like he's just funny, Carlos is a character crazy, for real. Bro. Like he just doesn't care. Yeah. Like he doesn't like whoever it is, whoever's on the court. Like he does not care. He'll just he'll just say whatever he has to say, and and like everyone understands they're not gonna do shit to him. Like you know, like if they do that, it's it's a problem, obviously. So he just basically says whatever the fuck he wants. He can't. He's been coming at me on the internet. Did you guys see that? I know. Carlos? Yeah, it's, bro, I don't, I don't even know his Instagram. Shit. He talks mad shit, like he's trying to get me to play him, and you would kill him. It was because it was because of the whole, you know, they want to use that name, the Hoolies. Yeah, of course. Who? Oh yeah. Savage, like For Nick. And, yeah. They want to use oh, it in a video. Yeah. Yeah. They want to get views. Oh. They want to get the cloud, the views yeah, off yeah, of that. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, I get what they're trying to do. They were like, he was talking shit, like, oh, Tommy, you suck. Play me one on one, <laughs> ten grand. I'm like, bro, first of all. Ten grand? Ten grand, I'll smoke you. <laughs> <laughs> like, we can run it now. He wouldn't even score. We can run it now. For sure. You gotta get him ball first though, to be fair. I'll give him fucking three shots. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the first three shots. You can have those three pointers. Hopefully you make one. I mean, ho listen, you make all three, whatever. Yeah. You can make all three. Don't miss. Yeah, yeah. Miss. You're not getting the ball back. You better score 11 in a row, because that's actually... But nah, I mean, listen. I get what they were trying to do. They're not stupid. For sure. At least you understand. No, for sure. Business. They were, they were more mad that I wasn't answering and replying. And then I did on my live and like, 
we had these guys that record us and they make like little documentaries on Instagram uh, on YouTube and they get paid off you know you get paid off YouTube yeah, at the views so they they watch all of the vi they record everything and they put these so they'll they'll get Carlos's side and then they'll get my side and then they'll make a documentary oh Carlos from Savage Squad is talking shit about Tommy from the Hoolies yeah, yeah, yeah. watch it or something like, and then it's like has like this music and sounds like so interesting and then it's like Carlos is Tommy don't want to fucking play me you know Carlos <laughs> yeah. and, and then me I'm on live like Bro, I will literally destroy this guy. Like, I'm not even wasting my time. Like, I was just, you know, blowing it off. Like, EBGOYs, though. Ooh. Carlos. sucks. <laughs> He's yeah, bad. listen, let me tell yeah, you something. Your, your GOYs name, is your, not... Your, your name's Tommy Handles. You should play him. GOYs is not trash. He's, He's trash. Wow. He's not trash. I think he's trash. I would be him. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you think he is? Like, what do you... He's all right. He's all right. He's, oh, you don't think... Like, you think he's, he's entertaining. He's, for sure. Somebody I'll sure. put on my team. But I think it's very exaggerated, though. Yeah, yeah. He, Julian, he's not trash. That's, that's how he started. He really hits those fucking threes, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, but it's like... You ever played him? You guys ever played him or no? No, I've I seen him in Phoenix. Oh, yeah? I swear to God, just pissed me off seeing how he dribbles, like, and just throwing up. Yeah, like, I've seen him because... That, that's good. That's how he gets his views That's stuff. how he... But that's the thing, like... That's the good That's the, that's the point. That's what he's trying in, to do. Like, you'll watch him be like, oh, my God, he's so fucking annoying. I love... I, I used to watch the videos where, like, people used to record after and be like, bro, this guy's really, like, garbage. Like, yeah. you, ever, you ever see... He, he lost a one-on-one to, like, a 50-year-old guy at, at the Phoenix game. They did, like, a, a halftime show. Yeah. And he was the entertainer. I've seen that. That's and they good. pulled him... They put some 50 year old guy with like a Knicks hat on, crooked his <laughs> jersey, like down, and the guy beat him. <laughs> I mean, he was he was hitting some wild fucking layup, this guy, but it's like You're, you actually play. But that's you what know they're what saying. He's an entertainer, but he he bro, he could actually like dribble like and shoot. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he course. didn't do all, he does all that shit for views, bro. Of course. And he's really he's a really cool kid. Though. Seen, oh yeah, I bet. Like, when he was, <laughs> balls life balls life was playing in like Phoenix or whatever. <laughs> Sure. Are you one of them? Yeah, bro. I'm telling you. I got the best cameraman though on YouTube. For a fact. Basketball player. Whoever wants to play one on one, I got. I'll set it up. I promise, nobody's hooping with me. A cameraman? Like another cameraman? Nobody's I messing. I don't. I wouldn't know cameraman. Honestly. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> a lot of Uber cameraman. There's a lot some of fire them. ones. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> undercover, undercover, for for undercover, but not, and not be me, for sure. Damn, damn. Can you, you dunk? No, no I can't. Dunk. You can't dunk. I could dunk, but it's not like it's trash. Not booming. Yeah, like he's trash. Rim grazer here and there. I don't got bunnies, bro. I got my mom's legs. We got chicken thighs on that yeah, shit. Man. Look at that. You could dunk. Oh, no, no, no. Tommy cannot dunk. No, no. Back I jump day, higher than him though. He can't yeah. shoot better than me. Though. No, I get I, honestly like if I if I if I throw an alley up to myself, I will probably get like one out of like eight or nine. Yeah, but I could do that too. <laughs> well, I'm thirty. So let me <laughs> give me your age again. Yeah, I'll fucking slam again. <laughs> I just never worked on my bunnies. Like that's something I never worked. No, on. Yeah, I was always day, shooting. It's, always it shooting. Be, like, it's nice bro, this guy used to have me on a shooting machine, shooting a thousand shots. Everything. I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't going in on the Vertimax. Like it was just you. But that's my role I was on the Vertimax. My role. Mm -hmm. My role was to shoot. So I was on the shooting machine every day at practice. Every day. There was so no other question. Doing. I grew out of nowhere, right? Then I grew out of nowhere. Nah, I was a freshman, was like fucking, five. He wasn't that tall. I was like five six, five seven, freshman. He was just a shooter. Six, like, get him in the fucking corner, set a pick, and get, you, you, let him shoot. He was shoot. No, nah, I didn't play OHS. Oh. Yeah. Man, that growth spurt really hit you, and you're like, oh shit, now I'm yeah, basically yeah, dunking at this point. And, and, I, and my growth spurt came, I broke my toe. So I broke my toe, I was out for two months, and my growth spurt hit. So I was, when I came back, I was slow, couldn't run, I got tired quick. Damn. So it just, I never really worked on like, like dunking. I always thought like, all right, dunk, cool. It's two points. I can get a layup, do the same thing. Come down, hit a three. Fuck it. Fuck a fucker layup. Nah, dunk is the three. shit, though. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, nah, now it is. When you get a dunk, you feel so good. No, yeah, yeah. Are you good, bro? Yeah, yeah, bro. I got so great. I got a dunk. I got a dunk at LA. It was 10 feet, too. It was, I was like 5'11 yeah, when I got my first dunk. It was like 11th grade. Damn, I wish. That was always the dream goal, bro. I'm like, I always jump. I always jump. He's not white. You know, it's... Nah, I, I low-key have... I was able to grab rim easily in that, but then I fucked my ankles over. My ankles are so weak. Like, I, for no reason. I have to wear an ankle brace every time. It's just... Your knees have to be bad, bro. If you grew that, like, super fast. Like, super fast. Right here, I don't know what it's called. My doctor told me... It's a fucking chicken... Chicken thigh. What do you mean? Chicken... What is that? Yeah, I'm scared. But I eat a lot, though. Ask him. You know, he's fast fucking fast. picky. He's fucking chicken nuggets and fucking french fries. McDonald's. 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 McDonald's.
Bro, yeah, I'm paying. I don't like a lot of things, hey, but you're not wasting all the money though. Honest food. Facts, bro. I eat regular, right? Uh, we chilling. Bro, I got some I like chicken. Eating, I like eating good though. He likes it, I but I like eating good too. But like, what I like, I'm not gonna I'm eat like, no random shit. Go I'm, not gonna, we'll go I'm not gonna go out and be like, oh yeah, let me get this plain chicken. I'm like, <laughs> what the fucking like, bro? Where the fucking steak at? You want chicken? No, no. First of all, we haven't gone to a sit down place like that yet to me to order something like that first. All right, that's the first thing. Did we? Have we? No, we haven't. Not like a sit down, like going down. No, we went. Fit me had little Zaxby's here and there. <laughs> but he nah, be cooking though. We're always on the road. So we're always on the road. We're always going. Like, all right, let's go quick. Mm -hmm. And I don't eat like I don't like fast food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the fast food I like is like, like Chipotle, Chick Fil A, like fresh Zaxby's, fresh fresh like that. Fresh yeah, food, yeah. Fresh yeah. Like fresh. Burger King and shit like that, bro. Especially after I had McDonald's. McDonald's are tired. No, McDonald's fucked him up, bro. I'm trying to I'll tell you. I'll never eat that again. You haven't, haven't touched it ever again. I mean, it's been a. It's only been like what, like three weeks. Yeah, it was, it, was like, it was fresh, so I was like, yeah, nah, I'm good. He's done, bro. He's retired, bro. bro. I was like three days, bro. I was like that for three days. Man, I went home and I, he called me. I'm like, bro, you're still sick? Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I I had COVID or some shit. I was like, yo, what's going on? You definitely had like food poisoning or some yeah, shit. Yeah. Some nasty shit from McDonald's. Yeah, like his daughter bro, loves McDonald's, so he's always at McDonald's. Yeah. You get the happy meal? I mean, every little shit. Every little yeah, bro, you get, the you get the toy, man. That's, yeah. that's the marketing right there. It's McDonald's. Yeah, right. It's the same thing, chicken nuggets and cheeseburgers. It's like it's like this kid. I get him a happy meal. He's he's happy, bro. I'm happy, bro. Yeah, what can good. I what can I complain about? about? Fries, about? fries, chicken nuggets in a drink. Like, what's wrong with that? He can't. He's probably gonna, when we leave. He's gonna be like, Yo, we're gonna get McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. <laughs> nah, we're gonna, gonna get some food though for sure. Yeah. Definitely gonna get some food though for sure. Nah, I like going to the chimney trucks though. Chimney, hell yeah. The chimney good. trucks. That shit's good. What's, what's been good? What's been? Yeah, we found a chicken spot in Fort Lauderdale. Best chicken. You like you guys like chicken? Like chicken tenders? Chicken yeah. Yes, I love bro, chicken tenders. Best chicken sandwich Magoos? I've ever ate. Nah. It ain't better than Magoo's. Chicken Huey Magoo's? Yeah. Better than Huey Magoo's Oh, chicken? for sure. It's a chicken, it's a chicken sandwich. It got, do you like coleslaw on your shit? Like, you like yeah, flavor? I, don't know. I like flavor, but not coleslaw. That's the only thing I is probably don't like. Is it chicken good, though? Like, the bro, chicken, chicken like, is he will eat. He will not even eat, like, Ketchup. He don't like ketchup. I don't like condiments shit like that, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't like none of that shit. Condoms. Condiments. <laughs> this guy said that shit last time, bro. <laughs> said that shit last time. <laughs> no, I don't like condiments, bro. Like mustard, <laughs> mustard, ketchup, all that shit. That shit's nasty to me, bro. I don't like so it. when you got a burger, it's just literally fucking bunions. It's bun <laughs> That's not what it is, bro. This is yeah. not <laughs> It's just, it's just, it's just, <laughs> not really a burger, I'll get a chicken sandwich, chicken sandwich, yeah, yeah. cheese on it, maybe right, so hot sauce, I like hot sauce, hot sauce I love. Yeah, so you'll, you'll fuck with it. Yeah. yeah, bro, that's, bro, the best chicken spot, like, we've been there, we traveled there a few times, and we found a spot, we're like, yo, like, we got the spicy chicken sandwich, I'm like, yo, best chicken spot ever, I just went to Disney Springs today, and, you know, uh, what's it? fuck, what's his um, name? Guy Fiari, whatever. Guy Fiari, whatever. Fiari. Oh, okay. di uh, driving and dives, like that? No, no, it's the chicken, chicken guy. Chicken guy, it's called chicken guy. Bro, I just ate there again, bro. Top tier chicken sandwich I've ever Where had. Where is this? Disney Springs. Chicken guy? What's it called? Chicken guy. It's in there? It's in Disney Springs. Yeah, I'm about to go there right now. This is a fire. I did not think it was that Bro, good, I just bro. ate it again. I know, I didn't bro, think they it have was that uh, good. like at least 16 different sauces. You can do whatever the fuck you want with them. Oh bro, busting. Like, I swear to God, I swear to God best, best, one of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever ate too. Those two spots right there might go to not better than McDonald's and McChicken. <laughs> For the fuck that dollar <laughs> chicken, and it's not even a dollar no more. It's like a dollar fifty for that fucking nasty. Sandwich, bro. Three dollar bundle. That's what they have now. Three dollar bundle. <laughs> but he know the okay, fucking okay. prices, bro. You have, you have the app on your phone or no? No, I don't have the app. I, I have the app. Yeah, you know what's app. crazy? I had it until that day. Are you serious? Yeah, because my daughter. Yeah. yeah. We I literally go there like every other day, every three days. My daughter yeah. loves that. Sh like she only eats chicken nuggets, French fries, hot dog. Like she's very it's picky. Ice cream. Nice and I ain't cooking the chicken nuggets. Nah, of course. We just go to McDonald's. You want chicken nuggets? Nah, I just go to McDonald's for that shit. It's the same shit. Yeah, it's right. all fast. It's all fast. It's like that bullshit chicken. It's all for sure. You want to cook that real food? I like, real, I like real, like Italian, Italian food. food. I like cooking. Yeah. You make me hungry right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. No, that, we're definitely about to go. Oh, this guy fucking loves pizza. Holy shit, that's that's. Oh, y'all should fucking link Yo, up, pizza. man. Y'all should Yo, link we were up. In New York, like last week, bro. Anytime. Where'd you go? We we're in the city. We're in the, just whatever, whatever we found. Honestly, I can't yeah. really tell you. Know, in New York, like. Not every, every pizza spot is okay. It's just, they're good. They're good. It's, it's just the, there's there's far, some pizza spots. It's like oh shit, it's top. You gotta go to the fucking ghetto spots. Those are the best ones. Best like the sh it looks like a whole. You gotta, you gotta chop cheese. Oh uh, no, nah, we're trying. Bro, to, we're, we're trying to go to Brooklyn. Brooklyn. We're trying to go to Ark. We're trying to get him. What's the Ark way? Oh, I'm oh, yeah. 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 We're trying to get him on Park. We ended up
Oh my that. god. Bacon, egg, and cheese? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. yeah, yeah for sure. Ketchup on it. Bro, you don't need ketchup on a bacon, egg, and cheese. It tastes good, though. It tastes really good with, with I didn't ketchup. Try it. I didn't try it. I had one with you the bacon. That's the best. Mm-hmm. I had a bagel bake. They, do, a, they do mayonnaise and then ketchup on the other side. For, I've it's never tried like, that shit. I, 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 oh, we did it for the chopped cheese. They did it for the chopped cheese. I made chopped cheese here before that, so. Yeah, that was really good. Nah, yeah. Ketchup is a shit. Uh, bagel, ba- uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, bro. Bagel and that. I swear to God, it's just not it for me, man. I need a. Bro, I need. A, I swear. I swear. Oh, wait, 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 you going there? You ask something. A bagel, bacon, egg, and cheese is not it. Like I need a like a croissant or like a bread. You need a roll. That, that's what it is. I went to we went to a little but deli. It's too, it's too much. Like it's, it's stiff. Too, too, too stiff. Yeah, bro, I'm like roll, chewing bro. rocks or something in my mouth, bro. I'm breaking my teeth. Yeah, we went to the deli. Had a roll. Oh my God. Or you gotta get the bagel scooped out. That's probably why. Yeah, yeah. It's just too much bread in that shit. I, I don't I don't eat bagels. I was like, bro, I'd rather take a bagel and throw with? cream cheese on right, it. If I do get a bagel, like if that's what their options is, I'll scoop that shit out to wake where it's like literally like I could like pop it. Like <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't like I don't like bagels. New like, York's crazy, right? You be I was in New York, I was crazy shit, shit, right? For sure. For sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just walk out, everybody's doing their own fucking thing. Everyone, wild, bro. bro, everybody's doing yeah, their own we thing. We were touring, we were out every fucking night, like just, just chilling, like bro. We're in the street, just walking around, like. It's a vibe. That's and people are out all night. All night. There's always something to do in New York. Always, always. always. Well, we were we were there for one, like literally, I think one month straight, thirty days, and it was every Friday night. I'm not joking. I think I saw the video for three weeks. I want to say every Friday night at like eleven thirty. This guy must have went to the bar at like nine and got fucking wrecked. Got in his car. I'm not joking. And came to our corner, our block. We were in Corona, Queens. Yeah. Like, and this is a Spanish. It's just basically like a bunch of Spanish people. Like, we're, the, like I'm bigger than everyone. Yeah. Me. Yeah. And I'm only six two. Like, I'm literally looking. Everyone's like this spots. big. I'm look, and they're looking at us like, what the fuck are these white people here? Yeah. Cause it's me, uh, Greg, and yeah. Chris. I'm Chris and Greg are big dudes. Yeah. So we're, we're like, it's like there was Dunkin' Donuts across the street. There's KFC downstairs. So we'd run down and grab food and a bunch of shit. So we're down there like every Friday night, my joke, at like 11, 30, 12. <laughs> this guy was so fucking wrecked in his car. He'd come and park in the cross intersection in the middle. He'd stop his car. He'd get out and he'd start break dancing right in the street. <laughs> I, swear, I swear to God. Chris, yo, Chris wasn't with us too much. It was usually me and Greg, but he did catch it one time. And he, Chris was like, bro, what the fuck? And he's like, bro, what the fuck is he doing? Like... <laughs> And then, and then one night, like, it was just me and Greg, and I'm like, and I'm like, yo, bro, get in your car before you go to jail, right? He gets in his car, he does a circle, he parks his car again, he gets out and breaks dancing again, bro. <laughs> Greg had the whole shit on video, he, rec- he dropped it on his, on his thing, on his uh, stories, but bro, it was like, it was like for three weeks straight, it's like, this guy's back again, and he was break dancing, literally trying to do stuff on his head, but he was so drunk, he was <laughs> falling over. <laughs> But it was so funny that we were laughing and then he would look up at us and look like he wanted to kill us. <laughs> like, he was nuts, yeah. That's crazy, that's scary. But New York is it's wild, man. It's wild. A whole different environment, a whole different... A whole different culture. It's like you know, I miss little it, cities that, that only have their, their own people and that's yeah. it, nobody else comes. That's why I like it too. I Florida's miss it there. The but at the same time... It's nothing like Florida. It's too Florida is just, but it's cold, bro. You only get summer for two summer. Yeah. Once August comes, it's freezing there again. You go. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, you say not for September. you, but for for person living in Florida, going September. up there, September. You got, you got cold, to September. Bro. Nah, bro, when we were just there. Right no, nah, bro, it was windy. He was cold. He was, was we were, freezing, he was cold bro. in April. I was, bro. It was like 50, 50, 50 60 degrees. I'm you're like, like, you're a Florida boy. You're yeah, born and raised. Born and raised in Orlando, Mississippi. Right, nah, this is not it. When I touched it, bro, I had a hoodie. My blood is definitely thinning. It's getting thinner though because when I was there, I was I was a lot colder than I usually like. Usually like sixty degrees. I'm like, wow, this is great. Yeah, but great. I put on shorts with maybe a long like a hoodie or a long like something like this. But I was like, that's what pants we wear here every day. Hoodies yeah, and a shorts. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, like I wear. I like to wear jeans at night, but like even here, it's t- it's too hot. Like it's too hot. Sweating. That's it. It's over. Shit, we've had a fucking great podcast. Yeah, that's probably appreciate you for coming out. No doubt, bro. Appreciate you for coming no out. No doubt, no doubt. Um, everyone go subscribe to JNL Podcast on every platform. If you want to plug yourself, Tommy Handles on everything, basically. What, uh, wait, what's that again? If you want to plug yourself, plug okay. yourself in, bro. Your YouTube on it. Oh my bad. Yeah, so it's <laughs> at it's at Tommy underscore Handles H V N D L E S, not an A, it's a V. So make sure you know that's on on all platforms, TikTok. All social media, YouTube, everything. Same, same thing. And make sure you guys subscribe to my boys over here at 
JNL podcast. You know they're they're you know they're on the upcoming, they're on the rise. Make sure you guys tune in. And if they reach out to you guys, you should definitely you know open your doors. They're good people. Don't ask for money. And uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, don't ask for money. I mean, if you're under twenty k, especially too. Yeah, that's. I mean, listen. I mean, it's a business at the end yeah, of the yeah, day. That's true, so, that's true, that's true, that's true. I mean, honestly, usually I would ask for yeah. money, but you guys are right here, and I'm like, you know what? I, I check your channel. I'm like, they're trying to they're trying to grow. So I'm yeah, like, I appreciate that. Appreciate yeah, that's that. Cool. I told them that before we started, like, you're real genuine because with the stuff you texted me was like, that, that shows a lot of character. That shows, one, yeah. One of those guys I know. Appreciate that. Not a lot of people are out there like that. Honestly. Appreciate you guys no, for real. No. Um, you guys. Go subscribe to JNL Podcast. We'll We're see done. You guys later. Appreciate Peace. it. Peace.